Okay, we've just gone live. Our Twitch stream has officially started. I'll just minimize my windows here for that and the Discord. Okay, we are almost ready to start our free range chicken run. Welcome everybody. Thank you all for joining us and especially thank you to Augendoc over here. I will bow and salute you because I'm so grateful that you are going to be our chicken tender for today. Okay, our bonus chicken tender, Cormat, if we get in a tight spot. Cormat is an alt account. He will help out if needed, but it's awkward for me to use him. But but we'll 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 manage. We'll manage. So I've got our route mapped out. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be going all kinds of places today. Our first stop will be uh, Sanson's. Um, after leaving Sanson's farm, we're going to head for Bag End and hit the first of our chicken stones there. So everybody who's going to turn into a chicken, we can chicken up now and uh, and get this party started. So I invite you all the chickens to come over here and talk to George. There we go. Okay, so. So, Algendok, what should we be calling you? Are you on, okay, you're on our, our chicken tender. You're Augendoc on the, on your tune there, but you're Dune, Dune on the, uh, on the voice channel. Okay, I see you there. You you can call me either. the uh, The name for the the Discord is the uh, the tune I have in the static group. Okay, so Augendoc or or Dune will uh, you'll answer to both, <laughs> basically. Okay, so here we are. Here's our flock of chickens all gathering here. We got Vethlo, we got I should I should try and do a, a head count of sorts here. Drumstick, uh, crispy here. Actually, let me fix my um I'll fix my UI settings so I can see my own name so I don't get mixed up with other chickens because there's so many of us. My character's name, I want to see that. Yes. Okay. Okay, so there's drumstick. There's another one here. <clears throat> I think we've got one more coming. Mertensia. Oh, and one more after that. I don't, I don't think our flock is complete yet. I think we've got one more chicken. Where is she? Where is she? Okay, so... Are we sticking to the roads for most of this travel? I think we will prefer to stick to the roads. Roads will be best, um, safer, uh, because going cross country, it's just that much more risky and it's such a, a huge investment of time. We want to be as safe as possible. So uh, didn't we have another chicken? Tal something? Oh, where is she? They were switching characters. Oh, switching tunes. Okay. Okay. So we, we can wait for them to show up. Okay, that's cool. Let me just double check on the Discord. There's their Discord chat. Not seeing it there. Okay, so. Okay, so most of you are able to talk on the Discord. If you're not able to talk on the Discord yet, you may have to go into uh, settings. And I'm streaming this on Twitch, so you could look it up on the pop open the Twitch stream to see what I'm doing to show you how to set up the, the your microphone to work properly. So if you go to user settings and there's a 30 second delay on the Twitch stream, so you should have time to to pop this open. Oh, here comes somebody else. I see someone coming. Ice Mira, Lady of the Wings is coming. OK, um, OK, so if you go to voice and video settings in Discord. There's um, input mode, push to talk. You click on push to talk and then you set a shortcut key. Mine is mouse four, but yours could be control or something like that. And you just set push to talk and then you should be able to use your push to talk on the, on the public voice channel so that we can hear you. So if, uh, if that works great, if not, as long as you can still hear what's going on so you don't miss anything, it's all good. All right then, I better get my my stuff sorted out here. I gotta get Cormad to follow me. Okay, and this is the other thing we should talk about to set the follow. The follow the follow command is so important on this run. And to set it up, 
you go, you type into your command line, slash shortcut space six, space slash follow. Okay, so now I've got to do that with uh, with that other tune as well. Go through that again, please. Slash shortcut space six space slash follow. So why does it say that location six is not valid? Um... That's weird. Well, that should correspond to the number six on your um, on your quick bar at the bottom of the screen. So anything from five to ten or whatever should work for that. That's really odd. But um, now what you can do is you just type slash follow into your command line whenever you want to follow somebody. And if you lose the follow, it really helps to have the shortcut set up so you can just hit the number six to make the follow happen. But if that doesn't work, you can still follow just by typing slash follow into the command line. And, you know, maybe copy that and then paste it or something. Maybe that would make it quicker if you can't get it to work properly on the shortcut. You could try seven or eight or another number to make it work but don't go to the low numbers because that's where your chicken skills are and you'll right you that's, may why need those. Why, <laughs> yeah. that's why i was wondering why six didn't work because it's empty yeah that's that's really weird but i would type slash follow in the command line and do a, a control c to copy it and then control v to paste it in if you ever lose the follow if, it, if you can't make it work the proper way yeah. okay i can follow any of the chickens by right clicking on and doing follow. But to follow the human, the slash, forward slash, follow, and click in the human, then I can follow that one. Okay, so now I've, I've got Cormad to follow me. So that's good. I think we're ready to rock and roll now. So, everybody ready? Everybody okay with their using your chicken skills? So just uh, some regular stuff. We're, we're going to try to avoid, um, we're going to try and avoid using foul fleetness unless we need it to escape from a mob. And um, yeah, and our, we should avoid, you know, our escort If should avoid using hunter leafy feet so that we basically stay together. If a hunter uses leafy feet, they'll outrun the chickens. And the chickens will outrun the hunter uh, escort if we use our foul fleetness. So we'll just go regular speed. We'll stick to the roads as much as possible. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's get this show on the road. We are going to, we're going free range today. Not unlike the real chickens in my nearest, the nearest chickens to where I live in the real world. There's sort of like a, an urban farm that's like the parks and rec department runs. And it's it's the winter months, so there are fewer visitors at the farm. I mean, normally there's families go there with their kids, and the kids get to see the horses and cows and sheep and goats and chickens and geese and all kinds of critters over there. But because there's not many people around this time of year, the chickens have decided that they are all going to go free range. So they just hopped over the fences, and they're wandering all over the pathways at uh, Riverdale Farm in Toronto. <laughs> so, so I'm I'm inspired by them. Maybe they were inspired. If only they knew. We've got virtual free-range chickens out in the world doing their thing. But I can go see real free-range chickens walking distance from where I live. It's pretty cool. So here we are. We're heading for Bag End. So what we're going to do, we're going to travel all over Ariador. We are going to find the chicken stones and run across them. And that will complete deeds. So when we chickened up here, you saw new deed, new deed pop up on your screen. And uh, lots of those deeds. If we stop for a moment and click on your 
your open your deed tracker and click on the the one on the right hand side uh, you will see all kinds of deeds so scroll down and get your shire traveler deed add to tracker uh, shire explorer add to tracker so yeah you can add your uh, free range deeds to the tracker so you can see when you've run across the chicken stone because the thing you need to do will disappear from the tracker so we're going to do the bag and chicken stone and then we're going to head right up right up into Evendim after we leave the bag and chicken stone we're going to go to Evendim and do all the things there which will involve some swimming of course it'll be fun what Very path relaxing. are we taking Evendim? to Evendim we just go up through Oat Barton and over to King's Crossing and then we swim from there to Anuminous. So we've got our chickens here. How many chickens do we have? We've got. Uh, try and do. Oh, and the more chickens you have in the flock, the harder it is to do a proper head count. <laughs> Especially if you get a bunch of chickens that are on follow, they look like conjoined twins and you can't even read the names because they're so close together. Okay, so here we go. So Cormat is mostly just here for show. He's just an emergency um, supply because sometimes connection problems happen. And if something happens to Augendoc's connection, we find ourselves in a Numinous without uh, Augendoc or something. If the, something horrible happens, then then we'll we'll have an alternative to uh, to just dying there. <laughs> so anyway. So yeah, when I did, um, I did a rehearsal of this run, and I used my main, who had not yet achieved Crosser of Roads. And uh, so now my main has Crosser of Roads, and the way I did it was using Cormad in reverse configuration of what I'm doing here today. I had the, the um, Cormad was doing all the running, and I was controlling Cormad, and my main was just on follow as a chicken behind him. And that worked the whole way. It worked all the way through Anuminous. It worked up the bitter stair, loaded with mobs. And uh, yeah, so I was quite pleased about that. And it took a little bit longer than the run we'll be doing today because I made a wrong turn in Lake Evendim. I forgot to hit Longbow. <laughs> I went to Osper Road. And so I had to go swim across the lake again from one side to the other. Uh, a second time so that took longer so I'm hoping this chicken run will be less than six hours uh, might be five and a half hours we'll see we'll see how fast we can do it we'll we'll have to you know to be realistic we will need to stop for a break every now and then because it's just too much otherwise here we go I ran across the chicken stone I heard a click and I see I only need two chicken stones in the Shire now. But now, did everybody get your your deed? Check your deed tracker and make sure you only have two Shire Explorer chicken stones left to hit. And if you've done that, we can move along. Can you check in? Does everybody have the uh, chicken stone? Okay, SS Mare is standing there. Why are you over there? Why are you over there? Come, come. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, let's go. All righty then. So now we're going to head down to Overhill. Go through Overhill on our way to Rock and Borings. And it's a lovely day for a chicken run because I have precipitation effects turned off, so it's not raining on me. <laughs> it looks like it would be raining on me if I didn't have precipitation effects turned off right now. Yeah, I see lightning. Lightning happens. It's all good. Here we go. So 
so many chickens. Would somebody like to take take uh, take charge of doing occasional head counts and try and be the one who notices if somebody disappears? <laughs> Do we have a volunteer for that? I can't hear anybody on the Discord right now. Hang on. Am I missing something? You know, like six chickens. Yeah, I've been occasionally counting. Okay, okay. So we have, uh, yeah, because it's, it's hard for me to stay on top of that. Okay. Is that running up ahead there? Is that her escort going ahead? Yes, it is. Here's Ogunduk. Yay. Away we go. So yes, every now and then when we arrive at some place that is uh, safe and we won't get eaten, we can take a quick break and, you know, a little bio break, refill your mug of whatever, grab a snack, do what you need to do. Stretch your legs even just to stay alert so we don't uh, miss out on anything. And there are places where it's going to be like swimming across... Wait a second, I got some lag happening here. There are places where you can put yourself on follow and uh, let someone else do the driving. And there's places where it's pretty safe to do that. For example, swimming across Lake Evendim is uh, one of those places where you can just go and follow and not worry too much about it. Here we go. The statue of the bull roarer with golf bull's head. Inspiration for the game of golf. I wonder if golf will be the new hobby that they hinted at. We don't know what the new hobby is going to be. But they're I going thought to... yesterday was uh, talk the, uh, the, the one that happens every week. I thought they, they hinted at something about it. They did. They did. Um... They hinted that, yes, a new hobby is coming, probably in like August or something, but they haven't said what that hobby is going to be. Um, I'm thinking if they could figure out a way to do golf, that would be kind of lore, uh, lore okay with the lore. I remember commenting once that um, when you're in the Great River region, there's all these ghosts on a field, Parth Telebrand. And the ghosts are all oath breakers. And there's a bunch of them that are swinging their swords or axes towards the ground. And they look for all the... And there are sand traps out there, okay? They look like they're golfing. They look... They actually look like they're golfing. And um, and it's pretty entertaining to see. It's like, wait a second. What are these guys doing? And and it's it's pretty funny. I thought if there was a way to work golf and, and and i remember commenting it's like oh i didn't think golf was in the lore but yes it is in the lore because the bull roar knocking off the head of that uh, golf bull goblin or whatever and it went down a rabbit hole and that was the origin of <laughs> golf in middle earth so so golf in middle earth is a thing so they could make that the new hobby it's possible there's all kinds of things they could be doing so it'll be interesting to see Looking forward to it. So here we are. We're just going to run through here. We'll be back in this. There is a strange chicken nest in this area that we will be using to transport ourselves elsewhere. But right now we're headed for a numinous. We're going to go up the road here. How are we making it? Better chickens. Get all our chickens to stop every now and then make sure everyone's caught up okay okay I'm gonna put myself on auto run so my left hand doesn't get tired from pressing the W key 
I'll have to take myself off again once we get up where the mobs are. There are some mobs on the road that will have to be taken out once we get up the hill here. It can get a little scary. Okay. Good thing for Augendok to go out in front of us here. Because there's like nasty spiders and wolves and stuff up went over the hill. They're okay. The, the, the hind here is not a threat. But oh my goodness, look at all the red dots on the mini-map off to the sides there. None of them are right on the road, so that's okay. Feel free to kill them anyway. Just so you can collect all the loot from them. Oh, there's a spider right in front of me. I'm going to take it. Oh, 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 nasty thing. Walking towards the road. We don't need that. Yay, the red dot's gone. Thank you. Thank you, Chicken Tender Ogendog. You're my hero. We love you. We're going to keep telling you that. We love you. Okay, what's that up on the hill? It's a wolf up there. Nasty wolf. Nasty wolf. Too close to the road. Let's just run away from there. Run away from here. Get spiders. We got what's that? Another spider on that side. Oh, they're scary. Scary critters. Got him. I used my hunter to make that red dot disappear. Yay. Off we go. It's all good. Yay, so I can switch over to my hunter and just target something and kill it, and I'm still on follow, so yay. It's all good. Got all our chickens here. Such a nice flock. I'm really hoping we can all survive the whole run, but I'll tell ya, it doesn't always work out that way. It doesn't always work out that way, because this is my second attempt for Crispy to complete this run. The first time, as some of you may recall, Crispy got all the way to uh, Nenharn about five hours into the run before being defeated by a snapping turtle. About five hours into the run, <laughs> the first time I attempted Crosser of Roads, the free range run here. Um, so that was uh, tragic, but it worked out okay. It was not an unsuccessful run because a couple of chickens did achieve victory and uh, got their Crosser of Roads title. So it's all, it's all cool. So this is my second attempt. So, you know, a, a, a momentary lapse of attention can, can end your run. So... Everybody should be aware of that possibility. It can happen. And even on my main, Hilda Galadriel, she failed on this run before succeeding on a second attempt. So victory is by no means certain, just so we're all aware here. We have suspense. We don't know what the ultimate fate of our flock will be. Will we all get there? Will we not? Sometimes people just have connection problems because that's happened on the same run where Crispy um, failed <laughs> the first time. It worked out because I came back on my hunter main and protected everybody for the rest of the run. Uh, but on that same run, somebody lost 
they disappeared from the run. And it was somebody who had, in real life, had a, a toddler to deal with and uh, was unable to uh, complete the run because toddler needed attention and toddler wins, of course. And uh, so they had to come back and, and try again. So real life happens and sometimes it gets in the way of our very ambitious chicken runs. And this is a very ambitious chicken run. This is a big time commitment. I really appreciate people who are chicken tenders for a run like this. And of course, Crispy Chicken, now that he's level 50, he can be a chicken, he can be a chicken tender on this run or any run really in Eriador. But probably it would be better for me to use my Hunter main, who's level cap, because it would, like, she could just kill these mobs with a harsh look, right? Or some of these mobs would be, uh, just take a little more time to burn down than you'd want them to. So we shall keep the show on the road. So how's everybody doing? Can we check in? Did everybody go and follow and go go do something else or what? <laughs> <laughs> the drumstick's doing good. Awesome. Glad to hear it. So how are your other adventures in Middle Earth going? With drumstick going good, I almost moving? got my jet to level 20 for the oh, group yeah. things, the static stuff. Oh, right, the static group. Up. Yeah, we'll get a static group starting soon. How's everybody else doing? I'm trying to get my main through going to bed for the first time. That's oh, been yeah. I've got my main sort of gone partway through Gundabad and then skipped right over into Umbar. <laughs> and I love Umbar. And uh, I do have a dwarf who's like 140 who's uh, started Gundabad. He'll probably finish Gundabad before my main does. But but my main is a completionist, so maybe I'll, I'll go there. Now that she's level cap, she'll find it easy to just go finish all the Gundabad, uh, Gundabad stuff. So... Yeah, I was going through trying to do all the deeds. I gotta finish the treasure in Angmar and then all the Dol Amroth ones. Yeah, yeah. My main has been working through the deeds in uh, King's Gondor and is almost ready to start into the Shield Isle steeding. And then we've got all this new content coming. There's the instances and whatnot coming for Umbar, right? So that'll be fun. Like, I think missions or delvings or whatever they call them now. So many things to do. So my, my main, Hilda Galadriel, is the, the one tune I have at the level cap. And she's my completionist that I want to do all the things with her. But not everybody has to do all the things. Okay, we're going to go over here. And we're going to go for a swim now. So everybody get your flippers on. <laughs> Our famously unwebbed feet. We're so good at swimming for critters who don't have webbed feet. It's amazing. Let's go for a swim. Off we go. Splish splash. We we'll swim to Enuminous. And then we will swim to that goddess behind the waterfall. And then we will swim up to Longbow. And then we will swim back to in a deer and run up to Osk for odd and hit another chicken stone. Lots of things to do here. So my chicken chaser Cormat is still chasing me. That works. While I'm doing the swim, I should pop open Twitch and see if there's anybody in the chat at all. I haven't had a chance to look at the chat in Twitch. Not yet. Give me a minute, though.
Oh, we do have somebody in chat on Twitch. Hello there, Blue Lou 92 Nice to see you. I didn't know there was a specific deed board for just chickens. Never thought to check the deed while in chicken form. Golf would work as a hobby. Check yes, it would. Here. And stay safe, chickens. Chickens are very buoyant. <laughs> yes, we are. So welcome to everyone who's joining us on uh, on our Twitch stream. I will not be saying much in the chat on Twitch because I kind of have to keep that screen with them. Um, well, actually, I can keep it open for a while because I can see my chicken chaser still following me. It was more, um, yeah, this will work. This will work. I can keep the chat open and see what's going on. So what was that? Somebody said something and I was. There was a Tomb Raider just swimming around. But... Was there really? And I missed it? <laughs> Yikes. Because here I am multitasking, doing other things. Yikes. That's scary. See, stuff like that happens. That's how chickens die. <laughs> okay. It's the drama we don't need today. We still have all our chickens with us. We have Drumstick. We have Crispy. We have... Who else have we got here? Vethlo and Esismera. And, and that other one I can't read right now. Aylor. Alor, Alor, okay, yes. Alor. Okay, so we have all our chickens. It's a wonderful flock we have. It's so nice to have a good sized flock. Last time we did this, this the flock was smaller, so. And Mertensia bringing up the rear. Here she comes. I went up the even dim on a chicken run uh, after I. Uh, lost the connection on the one on Monday. Yeah. And there was another mob swimming in the middle of the river. Wow. In the middle. That's scary. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I uh, when I was doing my free range run on my main a few days ago, I was attacked by a wolf in Chetwood, which was minutes away from the final contact um, in Bree. And I was like, and then there's just the Lone Lands after that, right? So I was like, within an hour of the end of the run, I almost died. <laughs> Attacked by a wolf. But I found the number three button and mashed my possum impersonation. The wolf went away. I survived. And he a huge sigh of relief there. So, yeah. It can be scary being a chicken here. I think we have to go around this big rock thing in front of us. I'll make sure I don't go ashore too soon. Let's not make life more difficult than it needs to be. Yes, that's the buoyant flock making her way across Lake Evendim. Oh yeah, so uh, you can use the follow command. You can follow any of the other flock. Yeah make life easier so you don't have to do all the steering yourself but you know you want to be careful when you're in an area with mobs to be able to use your as long as you keep your finger over that possum impersonation button you'll be fine as long as you can mash that if anything approaches you you'll be fine that is like the best chicken skill okay so are we coming ashore near the tent we're coming ashore Near the tent, yes. Behind the tent there. But there's mobs um, under that, uh, what do you call that thing? The tent with no walls there. <laughs> there's like a little, uh, there's a couple of mobs. So there's a, there's a brick wall between the tent with walls and the tent without walls. And you can see, now I, I can see the guy at the end of the dock soon to be deceased <laughs> he fell in the water and drowned <laughs> okay and there goes another guy okay chickens be careful now there's lots of mobs in this area lots of scary mobs and they're all disappearing now if you see anything i don't see let me know okay so I'm just watching the red dots disappear on the mini-map. 
There's like six of them between the two tents that have got to go. There might be one inside the tent, but he never was a problem for me. The ones inside the tents are usually not a problem. But there should be a couple at the gate. Oh, here's another guy walking. There he goes. Okay, and now there's... Uh... Okay, I popped open my other thing in case I need him. Okay, we're going to sneak over this way. Uh-oh. And I lost... Cormat's not following. Here he goes. He's following you now. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's going to follow you. Oh, hang on. Where, where's he going? Yeah. Okay, so those guys are down. Let's sneak over here. <laughs> okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Here we come. Okay, now Cormac, Cormac is following me now. Let's do our swimmy thing. We need to swim to where the chicken stone is. And just a couple of mobs over there, and we'll all be good. And then we can swim back and do it in reverse after the mobs respawn so we can kill them all again so they don't respawn on top of us while we're trying to sneak out. So, strategy. We have to use that same strategy when we get to the bitter stair in the Misty Mountains. We have to wait uh, at the top of the hill. After we climb the bitter stair slaying all kinds of mobs on the way up then we will have to wait there for the mobs to all respawn so we can slay them again on the way out and not have one accidentally respawn on top of a chicken and, and kill it so there's that okay these guys are toast he's down okay let's run over the chicken stone the chicken stone is right here. Run right over this stone. Yay. You might want to... Uh, that would be the Evendim... Evendim... Traveler? Okay, so I've got Evendim. Now all we've got to do is... Run back to the water here. Before anything respawns. Oh, and here's Cormac hanging out in the water. Silly guy. He was practicing his floating <laughs> skills. <laughs> yeah, he's following me again. Okay. All right. Now, let me uh, go back to the chat on Twitch. Just do my alt tab and get over there. Busy, busy chickens. Yes. Lulu92 says, I am new to Latra. I'm excited to see these new areas. Looks gorgeous. I've been streaming Latra on my Twitch channel for my friends to watch. Well, yay. That's awesome. The more the merrier in Latra. Love having new players. And uh, I was on uh, Twitter. My main Hilda Galadriel has a Twitter account. And she was tweeting about chickeny things. And uh, somebody commented that they were new in Gladden server. And uh, I invited them. They're now a member of the kin. So we've got a new kinny. All right. Now, do we have Angmarum right there? Last time I did this, I was able to sneak past the tent here. So, yeah, here they are respawning. Look at these guys respawning. I just got to pop over there to my other guy. Oh, there he goes. No, nope, don't have to. can go back. Okay. There's the other one, the second one. And he's down. Yay. Okay, so now we get to slay our way back to the lake. Ogendok, you're doing a great job. Such an awesome... 
such an awesome chicken ch chicken tender. So we'll do it these guys here. Now maybe, maybe. Uh da 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 Doing a great job there. Okay, we're all clear. Let's get back in the water. Start swimming. Okay, I got Cormad hooked up again. Where are we swimming to now? Now we're going to swim over to the west side of the lake, where that goddess has the cave behind the waterfall. There's a chicken stone in there. That's where we want to go next. So swim, swim, swim. Off to the left. I see a big rock cliff on the one side. On the left, we're going to aim for that. Yep. Yeah. So pretty. I love the way the water looks in this game. It's so awesome. <clears throat> Alt tab over to Twitch, see what's happening. This is intense chicken combat. The silliness and wholesomeness of this is so very appealing. <laughs> yes, chicken play is very wholesome gaming. I love chicken play. And I mean, it's it's it has its challenges. I mean, it's, yeah, you're level one. You have no weapons. You have no armor. You have no combat skills. And your mission is to just not die, <laughs> basically. So it's it's all pretty wholesome. But uh, the teamwork of having chicken tenders with you is awesome. I am all for lobbying the devs to uh, do something to incentivize chicken tenders and reward them for their dedication like anyone who does this job being a chicken tender on a free range chicken run that is a uh, an act of selfless devotion to others that deserves uh deserves all our respect and kudos and and whatnot it's it and there should be something in the game there should be a title at least or something for these dedicated players who protect chickens for for six hours for nothing but the loot from the mobs they slay, <laughs> you know, it just doesn't feel like enough reward. But you know, um, you do get you you do get you know everyone on Twitch and who watches the YouTube channel to see Augendok is a hero of chickens, a protector of poultry, and. Uh, and we love Augendok. We love our chicken tenders. They're awesome people. Because it's just, yeah, to, you know, I've been told there, there, there are people who have successfully soloed the free range run. Um, I don't know if th that involved standing around waiting for people to go into the areas where there's a lot of mobs or just mashing your possum impersonation while running through it <laughs> and taking your chances. Um, not quite sure, but uh, okay, let me look at the map and make sure I'm aiming in the right direction now. Oh, this is a part where you can't really see where you're going until you get around the corner. I gotta see which island am I aiming for. I think we have to go sort of, maybe it's over this way. This way? We'll see. 
There's the island with all the salamanders on it. And there's a little island off to the side. It might be over that way that we need to head. Yeah, I think it might be that way. Because when I pop open the map, zoom to map, it's still showing me the local map for Enuminous instead of the bigger map that shows the whole lake. Oh, okay, so when I pop open the thing with the whole lake, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's over there. Okay, so. Here we go. Swim, swim, swim. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Maybe a giant, oh my god, a giant chicken mount? That would be awesome. Yes, we need more rewards for chicken play. First, they need to add more quests for chicken runs. We need uh, more quests and more awesome titles for chicken runs. So there should be a chicken run that goes in the back way into Moria, runs to the chamber of the crossroads, falls down the well and gets well done as a title. So that should be a thing. And of course there's Mount Doom. You should be able to run to Mount Doom as a chicken and, you know, maybe walked into Mordor instead of walked into Mordor would be the title for that. Just a suggestion, not mine. These are, these are ideas that have come from other experienced chicken players. Oh, I see where we're going now. It's right over this way. I'm aiming in the right direction now. I see a, a mossy rock in the distance. That's at the opening to that little cove. Blue Lou says, I was able to talk to the animals on Bree and dodge the mobs in the forest, but close quarters chickening would be tough. Yes, yes. It was in Chetwood Forest I nearly got devoured on my main five hours into the six-hour free-range run a few days ago. A wolf latched onto me and started chasing me and I just mashed that awesome impersonation in time. Esmeran's first time chatter. Hi, hi. Welcome. Welcome to our free range chicken run. We're just swimming across Lake Evendim right now, heading for another chicken stone. And I was able to get my printer working. It had been dodgy lately. I got my printer working. So I have a printed list of the places we have to go, which means I don't have to use alt tab to tab out to the list of my route of where we need to go on this chicken run. So this is the same route, um, which I pulled off of the Sanson's farm, uh, discord server. So there's other players and it was on Landreval where um, this group of chicken players has a month of the chicken every August. And it was last August that Crispy got Crosser of Roads with a whole flock of other chickens. During their month of the chicken, there's, I forget the name of the kin, but there's a bunch of people that do chicken, a chicken month. And uh, so they had escorts all over um, for all the chicken runs. And they did all the chicken runs in the month of August, all the big chicken runs. So it was lots of fun. So Amaranth, welcome. Welcome to our channel. Notice our flock. We've got a lovely big flock here. We've got crispy chicken. We've got drumstick chicken. We've got Vethlo and Ilor and S.S. Mira and Mertensia. We've got quite a nice flock here today. Good size flock. Oh, look, it's Floyd and Floyd and DeWitt. See these guys? These guys are a deed. I don't think chickens could get the deed, but, you know, if uh, <laughs> if our hunter escort has never met them here, there's a deed for that. And if you're, if you're high enough level, there's a treasure cache on this island and no mobs. So have you, Agendok, have you got the, um, have you got the treasure cache from this island yet? I don't believe so. Oh, well, it should be over here somewhere. Where's the treasure cache? We'll give you something here. I'm sure there's a treasure cache here somewhere. Where could it be? This is the island, isn't it? I found it. It's, Did you uh, find it? Island. You found the tre Yay! Treasure for our chicken tender. Yay. Okay. Where's Cormad? Why is he not following me now? <laughs> I better tab over and find him.
Oh, he just didn't get out of the water. Let me have him run over to where the chickens are and join up again. Okay, Cormat is back. He gets stuck on a steep bank that he couldn't climb over. <laughs> okay, off we go. I think that's the same island where there's a, a sand castle that's part of the anniversary scavenger hunt quest, just so y'all know. Yeah, it was so frustrating. When you're questing around these lower level areas, like in the 30s or whatnot, and you come across a treasure cache, and it's like, oh, I want that. Why can't it? You know, and it says you must be level 90, 95 or something. And it's so frustrating. It's like, oh, I'm going to come back here later. So then you come back later to do the uh, the treasure hunt, and you see these poor struggling uh, players that are, on level for the area, fighting mobs, send an arrow to and knock down their mob for them. So just because, be kindness. One thing about these, um, the treasure caches, some of them offer really decent gear. Like, I had a, a tune that was level 130-something going through Mirkwood collecting these caches and getting really decent jewelry and armor. So that's the thing. Some of them, but not every area is like that. A lot of them, you open the treasure cache and you get, like, oh, a jade gemstone that's worth, like, 20 silver. And it's like, really? That's it? <laughs> it's like, that was disappointing. I like the Mirkwood treasure caches because they've got decent stuff in them. I'm not sure how high the levels go in that. Dun, dun, dun. Here we the, go. The ring you gave me get, uh, is a higher item level than the one I have, but it uh, gives me stats for will, so it's yeah. not really useful. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to lose your follow when you go through the portal into the cave. So if you're on follow, you will have to actually move your tune to get them into the cave. And Cormag can just wait outside. Hey. Here we go. Whee! Swimming and flapping. Okay then, there's a chicken stone, get ahead here, just on the right, run across that chicken stone, yay, we did it, alrighty then. There she is, we greeted her, now we can run away, Wee. Part of me wishes the NPCs would be like, what's the deal with all these chickens? <laughs> yeah, I know. That would be cool. That's another suggestion for the developers. Add some um, add some dialogue for the NPCs. Chicken-specific dialogue. Because it's like the Bounders in the Shire. When they know you, they'll say your name and stuff, you know. They should be able to detect a chicken and have chicken greetings. Of course, that would be lore-breaking, because chickens and other critters are not supposed to be able to communicate. Humans, dwarves and elves and whatnot, are not supposed to be able to talk with chickens. Okay, here we are. Oh, the Hobbit had a talking Where, where is... Okay. I think the dwarves can talk to raven. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And there was that fox... There was somebody posted about that fox in Lord of the Rings. There's a fox who saw hobbits sleeping in the Shire, out of doors. 
and commented on how strange it was. And Isn't that the fact that we see in the first chicken run? Yes, the, the exactly. Game? And I shared that, the, the dialogue from the fox. So it's that very fox is in Latro and you can interact with it on the chicken run. So every time you're doing, and we will be meeting that fox on this chicken run too. We will interact with that very same fox. Here we go. Now, next we're going to swim north. We have places to go. We have to go see Longbow now. I'm going to put my auto swim. And just swim, swim, swim. Is, is he the one we normally see on the Evendim run? Yeah, the regular Evendim run is where we're going next. Up at the Eve Spires. There's a big Ent up there we're going to talk to. And then we head for Ostfarad. So, seven hours and five minutes left. So we're almost an hour into the chicken run. Making pretty good time here. So we half dozen chickens. Good size flock. And see I'm gonna pop over to uh, Twitch. How many viewers do we have? Oh, we've got uh, Zoom. How long have you been doing chicken runs and chicken tending, uh, Blue Lou? Well, Crispy Chicken has been doing this uh, probably less than a year. Um, I think probably spring or summer. I started getting seriously into the chicken play. So Crispy has been around uh, that long. And in fact, Crispy Chicken was created, you may guess, from the name, that Crispy Chicken is all about chicken play. That's that's his thing as a tune. And uh, so, yeah, so I, I learned about chicken, chicken tending. I learned about chicken tending from other chickens and other chicken tenders who have been doing this much longer. Uh, some of the people I talked to, and you can... Not sure if you can hear it. So I did a chicken run on Landrival server, and there's a lot of people talking there about their experience from years ago, like doing chicken play from the start. Chicken play used to be a lot harder when they first invented it. They didn't have the thing where the aggro was reduced. So you'd be going through and like these swarms of insects that don't bother anybody would be chasing after chickens and defeating them and you know any deer or, or like rabbit that was in the neighborhood would the chickens would aggro and get in trouble so it was crazy difficult when it first started but then they made it more doable uh, which I think is good but um, yeah so chicken play has shifted a bit over the years uh, one of the things that used to used to be doable that no longer is they had a bunch of chickens. Apparently somebody once got a flock of chickens together to attack a wolf in the Shire. And they were actually able to get XP from doing that. And they leveled the chicken up from level one to level two. <laughs> and we did an experiment a few months ago where we attempted that on, on Gladden here and it did not work. <laughs> so we were slain over and over again. And uh, yeah, it didn't go well for the chickens. We tried, we failed. It was an experiment. We learned something. Now we know. And uh, yeah, so it was fun. Good thing about Chicken Run is there's no minimum level to start it, says Billy Ostrich. You're absolutely right. And welcome, Billy Ostrich, to our, our Twitch stream. Uh, Radagast the Brown could talk to animals, right? Yes, Radagast could. He does it all the time. So, yeah. So there's all kinds of things that they could do. And I did start in the Latro forums. I did a list of sort of a wish list for chicken play, things that they could do. Um, new quests, new titles. I don't know if a chicken could ever get to Umbar. That might not be doable because of the way that they... 
they set up King's Gondor that you have to go in a different, like, after battle time zone. Well, how would a chicken do that, right? So, not sure how the devs could make it. Go away on a boat. Yeah, I don't know how they would do that. You have different chicken skins, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Like chicken rewards. I would love it if the... I've got chicken coops at Crispy Chicken's house. You can all visit Chick, Crispy Chicken's house. It's just up the hill from Hildy Flower's house. Hildy Flower's at the bottom of the hill. She's at four floodside. Crispy Chicken is up at the end of Stonegate Path in Lindelby in the Bull Hallad neighborhood. So y'all, everyone's welcome. If you visit Crispy Chicken's house, you'll see chicken coops there. He's got a few of them. But when you click on them, you don't get anything. I think they should have a chicken coop or maybe chicken nest or something where you ch click on it and it gives you an eggs. Because I've got beehives down at Hildy Flowers Place where you click on the beehive, it gives you three honey, right? I've got Sam Gamgee down there. He can give you like fish or food or veg, you know, fruit, veggies, whatever. So you get free food from Sam. You get free honey from the bee, beehives. And um, I've got ingredient crates there at Hildy Flowers House that you can get crafting, universal crafting ingredients for free. Um, three a day minimum. If you're VIP, you click on the other crate, the VIP premium crate, and you get six more. So you can get nine of these premium crafting ingredients. And when you're trying to level up a new crafter, because you've swapped over and given them another gathering skill on your, whatever your profession is, then you can level that up a lot quicker with these universal ingredients. Well, actually, no, you can't do the gathering skills that way. But if you get something like, um, you know, I, I set up another jeweler, because um, my main's a jeweler, but I, I just had someone who can do um, jewelry so I can use up some of these gemstones that I collect that my main doesn't need anymore because she's already leveled up, right? So... Well, that's handy stuff to have. So yeah, you can, but I mean, there's the chickens, like, and I've got, there's all kinds of chicken decor you can get from, I think the farmer's fair has chicken stuff and you can get chicken pets from the buried treasure event and you can get chicken pets and emotes and um, decor at the hobnanigans event as well. And uh, if you want to know how to do hobnanigans, Crispy did a video about that. Took them a while to figure it out. So if you're new to it, then and you want some guidance on how the heck this all works, then uh, maybe Crispy's done a video to explain exactly what you need to know. So we do a show off Prince of Unusual Places for a chicken in Middle Earth or something. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many places. Are there chicken races in the game? <laughs> no. There are no chicken races. There are horse races at all. The, every time there's a festival on, there's horse races you can run in the Shire and in Bree. There are no chicken races that I'm aware of. So we've got races now. This this crafting event for foresters in in Coombe, that's um that's a race. Their players are pitted against other players. Maybe they could have a chicken race where chickens are pitted against each other, trying to get somewhere first without getting slain. You know. Like make it a race across the high moors in the troll shaw. That would be <laughs> that would be an adventure. Race through the um, stealth moor prowlers and try not to die. That would be fun. It might be kind of frustrating if uh, you know you had one. But uh, when I did, I think it's my troll shaw's solo video. I made a a, a stream, uploaded as a video. When Crispy did the Troll Shaw's solo, and um, one of the things I caught on that video was a stealthed moor prowler running down the road. My paranoia skill picked it up, and thank goodness I was not on the road. I would have been dead. So, yeah, so the high moors is quite perilous for chickens. And if you get across it in one piece, you're lucky. It's not just it's not just skill that you need. You also need a little bit of luck, just a little, to get a, to survive the high moors as a chicken, even with your chicken skills. So here we go. We're at the Eve Spires now. Let's go talk to this guy over here. 
have a little chit chat. We have all our chickens here. Uh, one, two, three. I think we have all our chickens. One, two, three. I, I'm counting five chickens. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, we've got six chickens. Yay, we're all here. Okay. All right. Can we then. take a quick break? Yes, good idea. Let's take a quick break. I'm going to go powder my nose. I'll be back shortly, and then we can carry on. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, I am back. Not sure who else is now. Is Cormac still on follow? Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to start moving and we'll see who's joined us. We'll see who's back already. I'm not sure if Aelor is back yet. We'll wait till they come over to where we are and then we'll know they're back. Oh, there's a person running around there. Hey, Mertensia splashing in the water there. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we can have a little refreshing bath <laughs> and make this guy wonder what the heck is going on. Lothar Bjorn. Okay. I'm back. Yay. Ormet is still following me, so yay. Okay, it's just Aelor we're, we're looking for. No chicken will be left behind if we can help it. But, you know, sometimes we have to leave chickens behind because sometimes problems happen in the real world. Sometimes they just vanish because they've lost connection. That's been known to happen from time to time. <laughs> oh, a frost, tusk, a frost tusk youngling. Very cool. I wonder if Cormat has any pets. I should check and see. 
I just got that the other day, and I love that it has a saddle on. Oh, I never noticed that. Yeah. It makes me really wish we had a mammoth mount. That would be very cool. Okay. <clears throat> Cormac can carry a swan kite to signal to everybody where he is, what's going on. Unless it gets in the way of the camera, I may have to get rid of that or change it to a corgi or something. He only has a couple of pets. Okay, so where's Aelor? Is Aelor back yet? Aelor! What up? to get to put my back and follow yeah that kite's gonna be in the way it'll be obstructing the view I think I should make it go away That's better. Okay. Pop over to Twitch, see what's happening over there. Lulu92 says, I do want a chicken hat. I need to get one when the time rolls around. Well, there's the, there's the chicken mask that Crispy wears. And then there's the nest hat, which you can make a chicken appear in the nest hat on your head but it operates like a carrying chicken so you can't do anything while you've got a chicken on your head which is kind of annoying but it is what it is right i wish they had an opossum mask in the game my wife and i love opossums they are so cute well you know that can uh go on the list for the devs i don't know are opossums a thing in the game I don't, i'm not really you don't see, you know, trash pandas amongst the critters in the, the Shire or Bree or whatever, opossums. I can't remember if the opossums are a thing in the game at all. I know we've got, like, foxes and hedgehogs are a thing. We have hedgehogs. Opossum pet, that would be amazing. Yeah. Maybe when they open up a new zone, they'll add opossums to it. You can put that on the wish list. Yeah. So oh, Aelor. Oh. It's a fun story time. I was going through some of my screenshots and I found one with, I think it was Crispy and Drumstick. Oh, yeah. And we all went to Party on the Rock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've had some good times. We had some fun. One of my favorite chicken runs was the one where we went up through Yondershire. I'm back. Yay! Okay, we're ready to rock and roll then. <laughs> All right, let's get the show on the road. Back into the water, everyone. And we swim, swim, swim. Let's aim in this general direction. What's the next destination? Ostferod. So we kind of head for Tinadir and we can take the road up from there. I think Tinadir is generally this direction ish. Get my auto run on. Chickens have the playing opossum ability, so why not? Well, exactly. So there is a reference to opossums that we have right on our quick slot bar as we speak. So 
It is the most useful chicken defense skill. Don't minstrels have a similar ability too? I don't know. I don't really play a minstrel. My minstrel is just a cook, basically. He's a crafting alt. <laughs> yes. I think it's like still as death. Hmm. I just call it flop. <laughs> yeah. I've seen a possum use that skill. There was, um, I used to foster a Siberian husky dog, and the dog found a possum in the yard. And the possum was playing possum. And I was chasing after the dog to try and grab it by the collar and bring it away from it so it would stop chasing this poor critter. And I saw the, the critter go flying up in the air like the dog tossed the, the possum up in the air. And then it was like laying there. But I had to drag the dog in the house. So I brought the dog inside. And then it went back out with the flashlight to see if the poor critter was okay. But it had gotten up and taken off by then. I don't think it had been bitten, just sort of played with a little like a cat batting a mouse around but yeah it's uh it would be a tough life so they do add new animals in the game they added lions and crocodiles in umbar so those are kind of cool my main has a pet crocodile now So yes, chicken-related gear is good. And I get some good stuff with the hobnanigans. I've got the hobnanigans field in my yard. And I love the chicken emotes. They are awesome. The chicken putt, the chicken drive, the chicken chip. Um, so you're golfing with chickens. It's almost like a hobby. Playing hobnanigans is kind of like a hobby, but it's not set up like a hobby like fishing is in the game. When they say they're adding a new hobby, it'll be something where it's you, you have a skill that you level up somehow by doing something. So would there be like a golfing skill where you where you use the skill and it makes some ball appear or goblin head and you give it a whack and try and aim for something? I don't know. Not sure how they're going to make that work. Yeah, they already have a golfing mini game during the uh, Halloween fest. A golfing mini game during Halloween? You have to go hunt the the gourd, the goblin gourd around. Oh the, yeah, uh... yeah. You whack the goblin gourds. You're just yeah. You're not aiming for anything though. It's just a thing. You click on the gourd and move along and whack the next one. So. Uh... So I'm looking at yesterday's Orion of the Rings summary. Yeah. Um, I haven't had the chance to watch it. Um, but under hobby, the summary says not golf. Not golf. Damn it. Okay, so we don't have a clue. All right, so what will it be? Hmm. Well, it, it says right afterwards, one of two potential aspects, collecting or discovering the world. I'm not sure what that means, though. Okay, so like taking rubbings of uh, plaques or something like that, where there's plaques or, or monuments in the game, and you'd go and... Or maybe you would take a, a sketch, it, do a sketch like an artist. Have a sketchbook and fill it with pictures of, of monuments or something like that. That's a hobby. Or some people have suggested like bird watching where you go and find the birds and look at the birds or make a list or something. Click on the birds and you get a deed. Okay, you found the, you know, the crabbin or thrush or whatever. So who knows? I guess we will wait and see. Yeah, with the fishing one, you can get cooking supplies. So I wonder maybe this new hobby be like supplies for, like if it's an etching, you get stuff for scholars. That would make sense. That would make sense. Yep. I always like the idea that you can go like foraging. Like they have that one event where you go around Brie and pick flowers. Like you could get like oh, dyes right. or et Yeah. Yeah, that's during one of the, the summer things. Picking flowers all over the place. I think right now the only way you get the ingredients for dyes is to give a, a farmer or you get like random pieces from mining. 
Yeah, like when you're on landscape, you can find things like yarrow and woad and things that you can a scholar can use to make dye, but you need to get the ingredients. And a farmer, you need a farmer to make, because uh, that's about the only way to get juicy strawberry, which you need for like red dye. I think you can, if you pick up raspberries or strawberries on landscape, you once in a blue moon, you might get a juicy version of it that you can use, that a scholar can make dye with. But I think it's mostly the farmers you need to get that ingredient. Yeah, I think upper level farmers, you get the flower field that just gives you nothing but dye ingredients. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I should check into that. I have a, f I changed my farmer. My, my cook and farmer used to be combined, but then I sw shifted my farmer over to another tune because I already had like three large crafting carryalls full of all the cooking supplies, all the ingredients and whatnot. So it just got to be a bit much. So I thought, let's swap out one of these large crafting carryalls, the fourth one over to my, my dedicated farmer, another tune. Okay, are we on our way here? Here we go. Am I chasing? Yes. My chicken chaser is still chasing me, so yay. Yeah, Blue Lou says collecting flowers would be cool. It would be great to get supplies for dying easier. That would. Yes, we have tunes in the game, like sketching would work for a scholar. Like, uh, and there are there are NPCs that have quests that are related to that that exact activity. So it would be good. Like a whole side quest, you just follow an elf around while he tries making paint. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's all kinds. There's there's a there's a guy in Gundabad. A side quest guy. I can't remember if he's side quest or main quest, actually. Epic quest. Where he's like a lore master and he's trying to do all the scholar things. It always bothers me that they have Yarrow for like dyes. And it's like, you can make a health potion out of that. Why is it not a health <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. Gonna watch out for these tomb robbers when we're running up the hill. So one thing we could do, after we get the next chicken stone, we could take a shortcut. Ooh, field here. Uh, we could take a shortcut across country to get back to Oatbarton. Because that's where we're going to have to go next, after Ostrod. So we could go cross country instead of following the road to get to Oat Barton. Couldn't we just take the road? We could take the road. Yeah. If we feel safer taking the road because there's like oath breakers and all kinds of critters. So yeah. I should try and glance every now and then at my uh, mini map to see if there's red dots there as we go up the hill. This is the way. How are we doing here? Got the flock together? Yay. Yay. Lovely relaxing Saturday afternoon chicken run. Up games would be cool for a hobby. Just play mini games versus NPCs or other players. Oh. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Poor thing. That looked like that could have been the killer rabbit from Monty Python. Mertensia's kin name is a reference to that. That's an excellent kin name. 
what is it the carabana uh, grenadiers <laughs> i love that quite brilliant i'm i'm on um faster in there so i can do the holy hand <laughs> the holy hand grenade yes And three shall be the number of the counting. So I'm I'm questing on another tune, a lore master. I've got a lore master that I'm leveling now with um, with a minstrel in the kin. So the two of us are questing together a lot. He's like my virtual boyfriend now. So it's like it's kind of cute. And um, I took him to see the cave in Limlight Gorge which is a reference to that very event from that Monty Python film. So we, we went to see that very special rabbit in that special little cave in the Limlight Gorge. It's like an Easter egg. It's one of my favorite Easter eggs in the game. And it's nothing to it. It's just a cave with a rabbit in it. Well, more than one rabbit. There's a lot of rabbits, but one rabbit is like a big white rabbit. It's different from the others. Yay, I can surround it. I completed the Effendim Explorer. So run across that chicken stone, complete your Explorer deed, and now we can run back to Oat Barton to use the first of our strange chicken nests that we will need to use. So is the consensus we want to stay safe and stay on the road? What do you think? What do you think? Stay on the road? Stay safe by staying on the road. We can do that. That's fine. What's the um, speak with longbow? Speak with long. Oh, did you not speak with longbow? Who was it? It was the ant that was on the island uh, at the Eve Spires. Did you not click on him and speak to him? I guess I missed that. <gasps> oh my. Oh my. Okay. So at the end of the run. We can see about getting you back there so that you can do that thing. Because um, this is exactly this what I had to do this yesterday. I'd, I'd gone from here back to Longbow and then um, on the way. So what we can do is after we get through the rest of the run i will bring you back there so that you can complete your run at longbow so not to worry we'll get everybody through the chicken run and then at the end of it we will get you back to longbow we will have time to do it before you won't run out of time because you've got lots of time um so we will get you back there to finish that so not to worry I can come back on my as a hunter and make sure you're protected while doing that. So, and this happens sometimes. This this happens on chicken runs. So it's not a not a problem. It just makes it'll mean the stretch will the it'll mean the Twitch stream will last just a little bit longer than it otherwise would. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, zoom to map. Where am I now? Uh, we gotta go straight south. Straight ahead. Yep, yep, yep. So we're going to go, so the Evendim. Takes us to another place, so oh, we'll just find our way back after the run. So when we do finish the run, then Cormad, who's level 120, can stay there and protect you and help you get back. My main can come back. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. What do we got? We got red dots on the mini-map. Oh, there's one up ahead. These critters aren't really a threat. They're not showing as red dots. But that scavenger is, that white main scavenger. We could do without him. Oh, and there's somebody over there. Oh, there's another one on the on the left. Yikes. Okay. Scary guy there. Scary guy. 
All right then, because I mean, our hunter escort cannot see the red dots on our mini map, so if you notice something that's too close, feel free to shout it out. Straight ahead of me is a tomb robber. We're just going to go around, creep around this way. Hang on, hang on, let me see if I can uh, use my guy. And then there's scavengers ahead of us. Yay. There's one more guy. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. What's There's something else. Oh, there's something at the top of the hill. There's a white main scavenger up there. Let's uh, get me Watch over here. them. They like to drop down on your head. Yeah, yeah, because I remember what happened to you when we were leaving Galtrev that one time, and an and orc fell yeah. on you and took you out all the way out there when we were heading for Minas Tirith. I remember that. That was a dramatic moment you could have done without, right? Yes. <laughs> you had to start all over again. Yay, here we go. Whee! And we cross the bridge here. Straight across. How's our flock doing? We got everybody here? Yeah, I think we got everybody. And away we go. Can we swim down the river here, or is there no way out by over? Um, well, swimming down the river is a safe way to go if you don't have an escort. But we have an escort, so we could take the road back to um, Oat Barton. The road isn't too bad. There's not many mobs along it. There's just a few spiders once we get off the beach. Here we go. Here we go. Snow beak, a pure seagull. Cool. So is anybody else leveling up uh, new crafters in gathering professions? It's like I had um, like explorers. I So once I had all the crafting alt set up, so I've got an armorer and a weaponsmith and scholar and all those things. And then every time I made a new tune, they would be an explorer so that they could gather ore and wood. And then now that they let us drop and get new crafting professions. I made those guys scholars instead of having extra tailors everywhere. Because scholars, scholars can pick up things on landscape too. Whoa, we got some lag happening here. <laughs> Everyone's... <laughs> what I'm seeing on my screen, it's like, yeah, it's ungood. There's a significant bit of lag there. Anyway. So I've got, uh, I've leveled up a bunch of crackers and I, ha I have collected over the, because it's weird, you know, you set up the crafting professions and I don't use the crafting as much as I thought I would. So I was, I've been piling up crafting mats all the time I've been questing, but I hardly ever used the crafting mats to craft things for tunes, right? It's like when somebody new comes into the kin, I'll often make them a set of jewelry, a set of armor or whatever. And, um, but other than that, I'm not really using it for my own tune so much. So then I've made a whole bunch of new foresters and prospectors to just add gathering professions to my tunes so they can gather both types, ore and wood on landscape and if they already have explorer and they can do those I could add drop tailor and add scholars so they can just gather all the things when they're out questing because I've already got you know all the professions covered okay 
I think I let my lore master become a cook so I can make food for the pets, but then I was like, well, I can't farm, but my main is a farmer, so. Oh, yeah. Mertensia. I see you back there. Okay. Catching up. Good. Okay. Get the flock together. Past all these critters here. Just avoid My chicken is over enthusiastic. It keeps going ahead and then back and then ahead. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I went um when I went to Minas Tirith on Landreville's server with Crispy during their month of the chicken. I, I, I put the, the leader on follow, but when I did that, when I did that, I was standing in front of the guy. So I was standing in front of him, and I put him on follow. And then when I got to the pier of Minas Tirith, he ran to the edge. And because my tune caught up to where it would have was standing when he first went on follow it was over the edge so my tune got crispy got flung off the pier at Minas Tirith and uh, missed out on the the posed photo op at the uh, at the top of the pier before everyone jumped it was pretty funny so if you're on follow be careful where you stand when you go on follow because you could end up somewhere you don't want to be if you're not careful. The more you know. Hogan Doc is doing a great job as a chicken tender. Making all those red dots disappear. Yay. Thank you for that, Hogan Doc. Once again. Or our backup uh, chicken tender is AFK. Lou Lou says, I play a lore master main with Forrester, Taylor, and Ward Worker so I could upgrade my equipment as I play. Yep. And that's great if you can buy the mats in the uh, auction house. I've got enough tunes set up that I can collect all the mats and make all the things. I've got them all maxed out in the guild, except I made a mistake when I was reconfiguring the, the, um, the profession for my scholar. I accidentally dropped my scholar to pick up something the other thing that I was doing instead of the one that I meant to drop and what that meant was I had to level my scholar all over again <laughs> so oops and now I have to level my scholar in the guild all over again so where all my other crafting alts are happily crafting away in umbar my scholar can't go to umbar yet um, because she's got to level up all of the, the regular guild stuff. So she's about, I don't know, partway there. I try and log into my scholar every day just to make scholar things for the guild. Oh, I see a Graham's foot slasher up ahead. Watch you it, do, Mrs. Mira. Watch <laughs> out. Look out for the red dot on the minimap there. Oh, that was close. That was close. Do you do missions for guild XP too? You can do, get guild XP for missions? I did not know that. The crafting boxes, um, the rewards, like for the 15 and 45. Really? I think it gives like 10,000 each. Oh, maybe I should be doing missions. Maybe I'll do that on my scholar once I get... Uh... <sighs> yeah, I should look into that. But, you know, it's like I've got so many things going on in this game. It's not like I'm in a rush to get there. It's all about the journey, right? Like we're not in a rush to get to our, <clears throat> get all our things done. But <clears throat> the sooner we do, the better. Because, oh, 
<clears throat> Excuse me. All the talking I'm doing here. I'm watching out for those purple mobs. We're keeping our chicken tender busy here. Okay, we're getting into a safer. As soon as we're past the fence here, the red dots will disappear behind us. Yay. Okay. Now we're heading for the strange chicken nest. That's our next thing to do. My roommate's Roomba is very angry. Yeah. It sounds like there's a demon in my <laughs> I can't hear anything like that. It's not it's not showing up on this the stream or whatever, so it's fine. Here we are. Walking on fences. Alright then, so we are approaching a strange chicken nest. And it's going to transport us to, I think, Rivendell. I think that's our first uh, jump. Here we go. Should I just travel there now? Feel free, yes. Go ahead. So you'll meet us just outside the gates of Imladris. And uh, I'm going to just pop over and get uh, Cormag to go there too. We can meet him down the hill but we, we you don't need to meet us at the nest we're, we're gonna run right in the gates and then down to the stable so it'll be fine okay I'll find you at the stable then sounds sounds like a plan <clears throat> okay, let's do this. We'll run down the hill. We'll pick up Cormat on the way. Where he spawns in. Here we are. There's the rest of the flock. And we see there's three chickens here. There should be three more chickens with us. Where's the rest of the chickens? Where's the rest of the chickens? There they are. Three chickens. Yay. Okay, chickens. Follow me. I had a movie going on on my other screen, and it ended at exactly the time we got here. So <laughs> I switched over to something else. Yeah. Multitasking, eh? Good to be able to do that. I don't want to multitask on this chicken run. I really want to get my yeah. crosser of roads, and I do not want to do what I did last time. It, it, was, was, it was just such a simple lapse of attention that did me in five hours into the oh, chicken Oh, yeah. Run. I, wasn't, I wasn't really paying attention to it. Yeah, I just had yeah. it on the background. Yeah. Noise. Well, it's nice to have stuff like that going on. Like sometimes I'll listen to podcasts when I'm doing things like Slayer Deeds or whatever. So it's like attention is a resource. And if I can uh, spread it around in the most efficient way, it's all good. And I feel like I got to stay on top of what's going on here. Ah, so Cormad and uh, Augendok both spawned into the the place down the hill where you spawn in as a hunter with your travel guide to Rivendell. So we'll find them on the way down the hill. Flock of chickens bouncing down the hill. Okay, here we are. Let's stop and wait with this guy now. 
The guys at the bottom of the hill have to run up to where we are. I fell off. Oh no! It looks like somebody just needed themselves oh, no. off the Are you okay? Did you survive? Yeah, just gotta get back. Okay, okay. So, we will wait here till you run around to the to the east to come up. So, Augendok can run up the hill towards there. And we'll see us where N. Heber is standing on the road. So, we shall stand here and wait. Hormat is now following Augendok. Because why not? Oh, I see him. Here he comes. <clears throat> okay, so our chicken who fell off the hill has to go to the east to find your way up. Yeah, there was no way to climb that hill. I had to go all the way to the other end. Yep. <laughs> we will... I see you coming up the road. Two chickens coming up the road. Here comes Drumstick and Mertensia. Yay. Okay. Now we can head for... Let me... Uh, okay, so now my... Uh, my chicken chaser is chasing me, and we can head for the stables. Yay. We have to talk to a horse when we get to the stable. Yeah, it's easy to forget that you have to talk to Longbow at the Eve Spires because he's so tall you can't see the quest ring unless you zoom way out on your camera and tilt it so you can see his head. Then you can see the quest ring way, way up in the air. So it's not obvious. But we will head back there to talk to Longbow after the rest of our stuff gets done. But we I appreciate it. That's okay. And you know what we're going to have to do? In order to do that, we are going to have to cross the high moor. That's what we're going to have to do. At the Because that's one thing. We don't have to deal on the regular uh, route that goes all around here to do free range you, you don't normally have to cross the high moor and deal with the stealth moor prowlers however when um when 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 we finish the run we're going to be at the last bridge and we will have to get from the last bridge to the rivendell chickens uh nest the strange chicken nest outside the gates of elmladris where we just arrived we will have to go there to transport back to Evendim. And so that'll be another adventure that we will add to our <laughs> add to our accomplishments today. It'll be great. So it'll, you'll be accompanied by at least one hunter with um, tracking skills to find stealth more prowlers. It'll be fine. Here we are. Rohirrin, we talked to. Yay, completed troll shots, travelers. Now, let me check my deeds. What have I got here in my non-completed deeds? Uh, troll shots, explorer. And, yeah. Let me look ahead on my list. So I want to have on my tracker, I've already got my Shire stuff up. We are now, we talked, we're going to be going to Gloin's Camp next, and then the Bitter Stair. Um, and then we'll be going back to the Shire. And then after that, we'll be going to Breeland. So I'm going to pop open my Bree things. So I'll be tracking those eventually. All right, but right now, it's the Trollshaws one we're going to do. Okay, then, let's uh, head this way. Loins camp? Loins camp it is. Alrighty then. 
We'll be passing by a Star Trek reference here, if anyone's not aware. Nimorn up here. This guy with pointy ears and a harp. You know what he says there? You see what he's saying? Brenio Amedo. That means live long and prosper, just so you know. Oh, that's cute. I never knew that. <laughs> now you know. Live long and prosper. Okay. I'll wait I'm not for sure it was going to be like a reference to that Hobbit song, that oh, Leonard my... Nimoy song. Oh, that song. That was... I mean, the song is... Uh, it's cute whatever but the video was just so cringe <laughs> it was so of its time you know maybe it seemed like a good idea at the time but now looking back it's so dated is doesn't even begin to to describe it it was just weird they were really reaching with some of that stuff in the video but 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 you know a for like effort <laughs> you know and Spock with elf ears and a <laughs> yeah. ear. Yeah. I think we're missing a chicken. Are we? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Mertensi is right here in front of us. Oh. Dog dog. So they're ahead. How many chickens do we have here? One, two, three, four. I count six. Do you count six? I didn't see the one up top here, so we're good. Yeah, she was ahead of us. Way ahead of the game. Okay, off we go to Goins Camp. Who was that one chicken who kept running ahead of us that time we went to? Uh... Oh my god, that was Bloon Boy. Bloon Boy was so reckless. He was hilarious. He he died like twice trying to cross the high moors without an escort and without using any of the special skills that you can use to try and accomplish that. And uh, yeah, so eventually we... I, ended the stream or whatever because we got done with our chicken run and everything and i went back after the stream was over and i helped him get across the high moor so on the third attempt he survived <laughs> but, but he was something else it was like dude what are you doing it's like at your own risk fine go ahead and die <laughs> and he did <laughs> it was funny though it made for entertaining uh streaming though <laughs> just laughing at this guy's antics it was like the very first chicken run um that i streamed did i stream it maybe i didn't the first organized chicken run that crispy organized on gladden here there was somebody that came along that was already had done the the brie run and he just kept running up to mobs and taunting them he really kept the uh the chicken tenders on their toes and uh, it was it was quite entertaining actually and crispy could play that role at some point in the future he has enough skills to mash that possum impersonation while he's taunting the mobs of course it's better if you have an escort to uh protect you just in case but whatever okay off we go to Wayne's camp first that's where we're headed there is a chicken stone right beside the platform where Gloin is. And up ahead of us, there will be a couple of mobs before we reach Gloin's camp. Usually two red dots on the minimap. I see a red dot right in front of me there. There he goes. Okay. What is so strange about the chicken nest? Oh, I'll tell you what's so strange. This question in the chat. The strange chicken nest is a teleport device that teleports chickens from one place to another magically. Okay, to get to the camp, we have to go up uh, this way, I think. Yep, this way. And there's some mob that needs to be done in up there. It's a snow lynx. And down it goes. Yay. Thank you for that. So off we go to find our chicken stone over here. Oh, people. I wonder what people think when they see a whole flock of chickens running around Middle Earth. 
Here we go. Right this way, people. Right this way. There's a chicken stone right here. Okay, then. So let me look. Troll Shaw. So I've got the, uh, the Gloins Camp chicken stone. And now, everybody run across the chicken stone. It's all good. One, two, three, four, five, six. See all the chickens here. Uh, where did Dog and Dog go? There he is. <laughs> Crunch broke his ankles. <laughs> okay. There. I think you've healed up nicely there, Og and Dog. Now we're gonna run up here past all the bears. Up to the bitter stair. The entrance to Heligrod. Before you were saying you want to have more like chicken play, and I was wondering if the first places they should add is definitely Yondershire. Yeah, well, when they added Yondershire, they made the Arid Luin chicken run that much longer. And uh, so you kind of go through Yondershire when you're on your way to the Arid Lewin um, flying the coop quest. But there are other places on the map that have been added that, uh, I mean, there's no specific destination in, um, what do you call it? I think Rohan has any specific destination, but you go through Rohan when you're doing the Minas Tirith run. I'd like to do you one in the one or something. No, what was that? Ogendok, what did you say? It said I'd like to do one in the Fangorn or something. Oh, that would be cool. Take a chicken through a uh, Moria. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to get into Moria, you would have to go. You would have to go around um, into the back door, right? You'd have to go through the Gap of Rohan to get the back way. And then up through Great River into Lothlorien to get to the back door of Moria. And then run all the way through Moria to get to Chamber of the Crossroads and jump down the well. That would be the thing to do in Moria. Uh-oh. Look out for those red dots. I better pop over onto my um my hunter and have him handy for when we get to the stair. Okay, now I'm not going to be able to talk as much because I need to use my other mouse to get my uh to get my escort up the hill and crispy following hang on okay crispy's now following away i go
This seems to be working okay. Yay. This is the ex This is how I did it a couple of days ago when my main got the title. Okay, it seems to be working so I can uh Use my escort to uh, Cormat here. We'll slay the way up the hill. Yeah, I'm just going to say, I think that's what we were doing, the wing under the mountain run, when you guys, I hit a lag spike, and you guys just went up the mountain, and I spent a couple of minutes trying to climb a wall. Yikes. Yikes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That was scary. Um, I seem to be lagging here. Yeah, your crispy is not following Cormat. Okay, let's try and get the uh, the follow back on. Okay, I seem to be following again. Let's try this again. Okay, that's all the mobs. Let's go find that chicken stone. Right up in the corner here. And then it's a good place to stop for a quick little break and uh, let the mobs respawn. Before we slay our way... Okay, here we are. Oh my goodness. Yay, we did it. We made it up there to the chicken stone. Make sure you run across the chicken stone. And now we only have one more Troll Shaw's Explorer chicken stone to find. Um, this is a good time to take a quick break. Just, you know, take a quick break, stretch your legs, whatever, and uh, come back in like a minute or two. We'll wait till the mobs respawn. Might take a minute or two till they respawn, and when they do, then we can make our way back down, slay our way back down, so we don't have anything respawning on top of us as we run down the hill. Okay, so I'll be back momentarily.
Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so what's the next destination? The next destination is the Rivendell um, Spire of Meeting Chicken Stone. So we're going to head there next, and then we go on the nest back to uh, the Shire and head for the Madam House, and then we start working our way across the Shire. Old Sally, the Fox, Wolf Fang Grip, Brandywine Bridge, Cow in Buckland, etc., etc., and work our way in that direction. Does the nest send you to Oat Barton or somewhere else in the Shire? It sends, it's the same Oat Barton nest that we came here on. So the nest is in Oat Barton. It's just, it's very close to the Shire. So you just run down the, the hill back into the Shire um, the way we came when we first left the Shire. So we end up going through Brock and Borings and then over towards uh, the Matham House. Now, if anybody if anybody missed the bag and chicken stone, we could always uh, stop there. But I don't think anybody did today. Okay, so we can run down to where Cormat is. I don't think Drumstick is back yet. No, that's okay. We can wait. I'm going to wait till everybody shows up back down here where Crispy is. Then I'll know you're back. So when you're back, come down to where Crispy is, and I, I'll know you're ready to go. <clears throat> so we've been at this for two hours now. We're doing pretty good. So as you come back, come on down to where uh, Crispy is. Here's Drumstick. So Mertensia is still up the hill. And as Mertensia is back, then we can carry on. We do not want to leave a chicken stranded at the top of the bitter stair. That would not be good. <laughs> and here we go. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll now. We've got the flock together. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second here. Okay, I want to be following Cormad here. And Cormad's going to be doing the slaying down the hill, so I won't be very talkative while he's doing that. Okay, just so you know. Yay, we made it down the bitter stair. That's good news. Okay, just get my camera sorted here. Get myself aimed in the right direction.
how are we doing here? We're doing good? Okay, awesome. I'm just aiming for the gap in the hills where we're headed for. All right then, we're on our way back to Rivendell. Yay! I think I will get my uh, my escort to follow me instead of the other way around, so I can chat again. All right then, get this show on the road. Down we go. Yay! So the two worst places on this chicken run we've gotten through. So we've got through Anuminous, we've got through the Bitter Stair, and those were the worst places with the thickest pile of mobs. Now watch out, there's a snow lynx here on the right. Let me get that snow lynx out of our path. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ogendoc. You're awesome. And away we go down the hill, and there's somebody else in our path. There's always a second guy. Watch out for that snow lurker there. And he's down. Now we get a clear run right back to Rivendell. Yay! It's all good. Pop open the... Uh... Oh, I'm going to jump over to Twitch and see what's happening in the chat. There we go. And the free range chicken run continues. Oh, people. <laughs> people stop and look, what's up with the chickens? <laughs> and off he gallops on his way. <laughs> That's what we want to see. We want to see people curious about what is up with this flock of chickens. Poor drumstick is getting stepped on here by Cormad. I guess they're both following Crispy at the same time. He's got big boots. <laughs> yeah. It just seems a little improbable. But whatever. So yeah, there's a chicken stone right near the spire of meeting we're going to go there and then we're going to head back out the gates and down the hill we go <laughs> poor us mira just busted her spindly little ankles
and some of our chickens have just raced right ahead. Somebody's using foul fleetness up there, I'm pretty sure. It's lag. Maybe. Is it lag? Yeah, maybe it's lag. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> it happens. So, well, we all know we're going to meet at the Spire of Meeting. So we can meet there even if you do race ahead. And down the hill we go. Through the shrubberies. So, you know what we haven't done in quite a long while? We have not played Hildy Go Seek in quite a while. The game our kin sometimes plays. It's fun. It is fun. And the last scouting mission that I did was in Rivendell, because we've never played Hildy Go Seek in Rivendell yet. I think that will be the next Hildy Go Seek game. So, uh... Maybe I'll schedule one of those for uh, maybe a Saturday afternoon when there's no Slayer Saturday going on. Then I could do a Hildy Go Seek game. Okay, so this is the Spire of Meeting, but where is the Chicken Stone? The Chicken Stone is nearby. It's not far. Here it is. I found it. It's over by the mailbox. The chicken stone. I ran across it. Yay. Okay, everybody run across the chicken stone. Here it is. Right this way. Run across this chicken stone. Okay, we all got it. So now we are done with our uh, Trollshaw's deeds. If you look at the completed ones. Trollshaw's Explorer and Traveler are completed. Evendim is completed for most of us. Except for one. But we'll come back to that later. Okay, so. So what's next? What's next? We're going to run up the hill and out the gates and go to that strange chicken nest and magically teleport to Oatbarton. That's our next mission. People. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we go. Up the hill. Everybody with us? Wait a second. Where's Augendock? Where is Augendock? I ordered the gnaw bottle to uh, take a horse to Old Barton. Oh, okay, good, good. Okay, so you're you're going to meet us at the other end. That's awesome. Very good. So chickens can make our way to the nest. And our escort will meet us there. I wonder where I should send Cormad to. Where will he go next? The Yondershire has a stable right by its uh, uh, travel skill. Yeah. I'm thinking Cormad, we don't really need him so much now as we did before. I could, like, just park him and then send him where... If, if we do need him. Because I... I the nasty bits are all pretty much over. You know what? The next time I might need Cormad, well, no, I won't need him. Because if we're coming back across the high moor later, I'll be on a hunter and he won't be needed. So I could just, like, leave him wherever, park him wherever, because I don't think I'll need him anymore on this chicken run. Unless something happens to you, then I can always bring him back and he can find us, if needed. But I don't think he will be. I'm at the stable in Oatbart, and I'm not sure where you guys are going to be. Okay, we're going to come. There's a, that roundy building with the strange chicken nest beside it. If you were going up towards those funny farms where there's the level 30 quests, um, it's near there. Where the campfire is, if you see the campfire on your, um, on your map over in that direction.
There we go. The adventure continues. We're just at the top of the hill now. Oh, here's Mertensia way ahead of us. Way ahead of the game. We're almost at the chicken nest. And thank goodness when you go out the gates of Imladris, there's no raw, there's no mobs that are right on top of you. There's no red dots on the minimap between the gates and the chicken nest. So yay for that. There we go. I'm going to send Cormad to the um, to Mickle Delving in case he needs to travel. He can get anywhere he needs to go from there. Just so he's not standing around a strange chicken nest in Rivendell. Okay, drumstick. Is drumstick through? Okay, so we've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got all our chickens here. We're heading down to the road. So, Algendok, where are you now? Are you still by the stable? I'm at the campfire. Okay, come down towards the main road and you will find us. You've gone too far if you've gone to the campfire. I see you up there. I see you up there. We're down by the main road, so just come uh, south-ish. Here you come. I see. I see. There you are. Yay. <laughs> he lagged in midair when you jumped off that rock. <laughs> just for a second. It looked pretty funny. Okay. And away we go. Okay, so now I can keep a closer eye on chat. I'm going to get going. So, Lulu, thank you for joining us. Great to have you in your comments on the stream. The deed completed there. Okay, so it's a pretty easy run. We're going to go all the way to Mickle Delving. We're going to visit the Matham House. And there's like the the chicken stone at Mickle Delving, right beside the Matham House. It's kind of hidden. It's like there's a crate or something on top of it. So you have to jump onto the crate to trigger it or run very close to it, one or the other. It's right beside, just to the right of the stairs up into the Matham House. That's where we're aiming for. hit the brakes every now and then and let the, the flock catch up to me. So they should be fairly relaxing running through the Shire. The mobs politely stay off of the roads mostly in the Shire, so yay. Makes life easier for chickens here. A shortcut past the statue. love to get swarmed by a random flock of chickens while adventuring in Middle Earth. That would be fun. If we weren't on a mission, 
there's a cool thing you can do in um, Overhill. One time on one of these chicken run adventures, we stopped to watch a Hobbit marriage proposal. You can see that near the pond in this little town up ahead. But we're on a mission. So you can come back and check that out at your leisure if you haven't done so already. Over on the other side of that pond. I think there's a second pond over there. Yes, there's a second pond over that way. And there's two little hobbits over there beside the pond. You can go and eavesdrop on them. It's very cute. Lulu92 said, have a good night. Well, I hope you have a good night too, Lulu. Thank you for joining us. Oh, more people. Table mount, maybe? Not sure. There we go. Oh, what a lovely day in the Shire. Sky looks kind of pink. What time of day? It's dawn. It's dawn in the Shire. More people. Hey, people. <laughs> Getting swarmed by a chicken flock here. The yesh of the stores. And away we go. We are on a mission. We don't have time to socialize all day. So five hours and 31 minutes, that means we've been at it eh, about two and a half hours in. When we get to the point where we're, we're, there's only two hours left, then we'll be probably mostly done. Most of us will have achieved crosser of roads when there's still more than two hours left. So we'll have plenty of time. Get our last person back to the Eve Spires. No worries. And here we go, up the hill. <laughs> when I'm not yakking my head off here. There's such cute chicken noises to hear. What I think is rather funny is when you only have one chicken running around in the game, when you are a chicken, you hear the same level of chicken noises as when there's a whole flock. There's like loads of them. It's weird. Okay, we're on our way to the Madam House. On our way. Another lovely day in the Shire. It's not raining this time. Last time we were through here, it was raining. Or it would have been if I had rain showing on my uh, options. So I have my list, and uh, I'd like to shout out a thank you to the person who put the, uh, the stuff the route information onto the Sansons Farm Discord channel where everybody can find it. I think you can also access it through the wiki. It helps. It helps to have the route information so you know where you gotta go. Oh, there's a bit of back and forth on this quest. 
How many chicken nests do you have to use twice? To get different places. And somebody's sort of done the math and figured out which route is optimal to get all the things done most efficiently with less time wasted. I think somebody's using foul fleetness to get to the madam house. Yep. I have no objection to doing that. You don't get there ahead of us, and that's fine. Nope. Let's try not to run into fences, Crispy. So we could go around, or we could go through. Take the shortcut through the uh, little park in the middle of town here. Because why not? <laughs> in one gate, out the other gate on the other side. And where's... Oh, now i got to backtrack to get up the hill. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Here we go. Where is everybody? Oh, here we are. Here we are. We're all climbing the hill now. Come on, Crispy, let's go. Here we are. So, we're going to hit that chicken stone. Oh, poor Augendock. He needs a break. He's run so hard. He's worked so hard getting us here. All right, then. There we are. <laughs> if I make the names go away, hang on. All the chickens. Make the names go away for a bit. Make all the UI go away for a bit. I could take a picture of all the chickens gathered around here. We'll have to do roast chickens on a campfire at some point. That would be a good thumbnail. Always look for a good thumbnail that I can use on our adventures. All right, now that we've done this chicken stone, it is time to start visiting critters in the Shire. Okay, we've done Matham House. Next stop, Old Sally. Let's go to Tuckboro and find Old Sally by that big old willow tree. We're just going to be doing all the things that we would normally be doing on one of those early flying the before you get to the flying the coop chicken quest. Last of the intro quests. So we're going to head for Waymeat. We can take a shortcut up the hill from around Waymeat. Go under that, that bridge that doesn't have a stream underneath it. So how's everybody doing? Y'all still awake? Yep. <laughs> oh. Look at man in arms here, galloping along the road. Did we pick up another escort? <laughs> Did we pick up an accidental chicken tender? I don't know. Time will tell. <laughs> it's funny when you pick up random, random escorts. Well, gallivanting as a chicken. The time I tried to do the uh, the Lone Lands Flying the Coop quest solo, and I accidentally picked up a chicken tender in Bree and followed me the rest of the way. It was fun. She used a sea pet rename to communicate and say, Hi, Crispy. <laughs> it was fun. Okay, we're going to sneak in between the lamppost and the rock here. 
and head up the hill. Oh, look out for Tuskers. There we go. We don't want Augendock to get bored. We'll give him something to do on her way up the hill. <laughs> the sound the boars make when they go down. We got crazy hill toads here. Oh, there's the bridge. I'm gonna go under the bridge. Because we can. Maybe nibble some mushrooms on the way. They look delicious. Are we all here? We got all our chickens here. Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five. Are we missing a chicken? Do we have all our chickens here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have six chickens. Yay. Okay, good. Good to do a head count every now and then. There's that willow tree. There's a tusker. There's usually two tuskers between us and old Sally. Boom. And he's down. There we go. Here's old Sally. Let's talk to talk to the critter. And off we go towards the road. And we're off to see Mr. Fox. The little fox. Here's the road. Watch out for the brigand on the road. I think we'll miss them all together by going up this hill here before you get to the pond. Sometimes when there's a brigand on the road, I get him to chase me because he does not have ranged attacks. So if you see him, you can get him to chase you, and you can outrun him, or you can use your possum thing to make him go away. Whatever works. Or you can kill him if you have an escort. Yay. Thank you, Augendop. <laughs> Here's the fox. The fox that actually appears in the, in the Fellowship of the Ring very early on. Okay, we talked to him. Now, off we go to see the dogs at Bam Furlong. And there's no brigand on the road anymore because he's been defeated. So, yay. So my tunes who are in Umbar doing their guild crafting every day, are they're very grateful that they made a change. So there's a milestone right outside the guild hall there. So that they don't have to run the gauntlet to get into the guild hall every time they have to go and find a Wenda Crane's bill to do their VIP town services thing. That was life changing. A great improvement to have a milestone there. So thank you to the devs for doing that. Although it was kind of entertaining to to have to find people to slay the gut rat so you could get into the crafting halt without getting killed. Because my crafting alts, you can craft your way up to level 50-ish. 
quite easily. But when the mobs are level 147-ish, it's like it's not good to try and get past them. They give you a harsh look and you drop and end up back in the Shire or wherever your milestone was set. Here we go. Oh, let's go over the hill. Let's go see the guys near the gate. And here's the field where you do the, the mushroom quest during the farmer's fair. That's pretty entertaining. Some of the mushrooms make you bigger and some of them make you smaller. It's quite fun. The Mertensi is already here. Okay, we have two dogs here that we can talk to. And now we need to find... The other guy who is over here. You can see the quest string. Here's Wolf. Dude, how's it going? Dude, talk to me. Talk to me, Wolf. I got some lag here. Oh, lag. Oh. Okay, we're patient. We can wait. Sip my beverage. Maybe take a break. <laughs> When Mertensia jumped, it, it stalled, like it, the lag. <laughs> it, it froze. Yeah. He was flashing at times. Hovering in midair. Yeah. Deed completed. Yay. Okay, now our next mission is to find the Brandywine Bridge Chicken Stone. So let's go out the gate. And off to the Brandywine Bridge. Whee. You climbing the stock tower just for funsies. <laughs> You're taking the scenic route, I see. <clears throat> Look at this guy walking along the fence. Show off. <laughs> Okay, instead of following the road all the way, we'll take a shortcut following Aylor over here. Take a shortcut over by that building. Is it on the Buckland side? It is, yes. On the Buckland side. On the right, as you come over the bridge, there's a stone right there. And then we can dash into Buckland and visit a cow. Completed, Shire Explorer. Yay! All right then, let's go talk to a cow. The cow on the roof. Here's the cow. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Deed completed, yay. 
Oh, that was the old one. Okay, so now off we go. Let me just double check on the list. Make sure I know where I'm going next. Uh, bag and mag. Okay, same group book. Bambi Line Bridge. Ow. Okay, so we go past Adzo's camp onto the Barrow Downs. Our next destination is Tom Bombadil's house. Did you see that rumor about uh, Rings of Power? Did you see the rumor that Tom Bombadil may be appearing on that program in a future season? That'll be interesting. I saw someone made um, a bingo sheet of the <laughs> rumors people have been hearing. Yeah, yeah. Which way are we going to his house? Um, through the the uh, through the, Baradon, through, or through I, the northern part of the forest. Well, if you want to bring us through the northern part of the forest, uh, I'm agreeable to that. But normally, I would use the Barrow Downs because you could just see things better there. You know, less terrifying. Is my opinion, but if you know which path to take through the forest, then um, I'm okay with that. It would be from Adzo's camp, right? We could go from there through the forest. If we have, an we escort. can do that. But I usually get lost that way. Like, okay, I don't I, think it'll be with you, but who I, knows? I think it's doable um, because there is kind of a path. I think there's one part where the path doesn't show up very well, but I think I think we could do it from Adzo's camp. I think, if I just double-check the map once we get there. Because I think it's a fairly straight run from Adso's camp to Tom Bombadil's house if you just go straight south from there, pretty much. We can have a look. We can have a look when we get to Adso's camp. So the list I have says Adso's camp, Barrow Downs, so I think it's like an alternative. You can go either way. It might be faster to go through from Adzo's camp. It might be slightly less terrifying to go um, go the other way. Okay, I see four chickens. Are there two more chickens somewhere here? We're missing two. Where are the other two chickens? Mm, backing up, I'm looking. Okay, suddenly we have... Uh, suddenly we only have... Five chickens? Oh, there's five chickens here. Are we missing one? Who's missing? Uh, Ilor's here. Esmir's here. Drumstick. Crispy. Where's our other chicken? Mertensia? Mertensia. Yeah, where's Mertensia? Are you ahead of us or behind us? I'm not sure. Oh, are you on the road to Adso's camp from Buckland? Yeah, okay. So, we'll meet you at Adso's camp then. That's okay. We'll look for you at Adso's camp. We'll rendezvous there. So whether you're ahead or behind, we'll find you there. All righty then. So, five hours, ten minutes left. So, we are almost, just about, pretty much, halfway through our adventure. So, that's good. We're making progress. We're doing well. I see you guys. You're in front of Oh, are you behind? I see you back there. I see you way back there. <laughs> Here she comes. And it, yes, it's Mertensia. We're together now. Yay. My cat decided he needed attention and I got distracted for it. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, I currently, the reason I'm doing this chicken run today, I'm going to be fostering another pupper in the near future. 
So there won't be any six hour chicken runs once I'm fostering two little puppers. It's a thing. It was fun. I hey, we've stopped a few players. There we go. I fostered cats last year for a month or so. They were nice kitties. Okay, so here is Adzo's camp. People running around. We can greet this guy. Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Crazy chickens. Okay, so the road. Oh, another guy here. <laughs> here we are being aggressively sociable. Okay, shall we, shall we attempt the path through the forest? We have an escort who can keep us safe in the old forest. So let's do this. Let's do this. See, it's a pathway we can follow. Over chat, they said, what in the name of Durin's beard? <laughs> I, I would send them the link for chicken play <laughs> into the chat. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> What in the name of Durin's beard, indeed. See, here's the East Forest Road. We just follow the road for a while and watch out for red dots on the mini-map, of course. Okay, and now let me just double check the map. Okay, so we're going south-ish. I'm not quite aimed south, so straight through here. Yeah, between the rock and the, the root here. Around this tree. Oh, yeah, purple thing disappeared. Yay, thank you for that. Turn the corner. The thing over there. Watch out. Red dot. See, here's the road again. We found the road again. It's right up here. There's a gloomling in front of me. This road should take us right where we need to go. Pretty sure. All righty then. Um, does it? Yeah. Okay, let's follow this road. Where does this one go to, Goldberry? Hmm. See a lot of trees and whatnot. You know what? We're facing in the wrong direction now. I think we need to go more south. I think we need to head south from here. Now, if I look at the map, there should be a gap through the trees. Uh, where is it? Looks like there's a pond over there. There isn't. Yeah, we need to go south. Is there a gap? No. Let's go this way. Backtrack a little bit until we can turn south. Right this way. Okay. There's a creeping oat root. But he's not showing up on the mini-map, so he's not really an issue, is he? Okay, I think we're heading down towards where Old Man Willow is. I think, I think. Going this way, and we have to turn the other way once we get down to here. Freaking veil. Are we? 
are having an adventure, aren't we? <laughs> okay. Let's just keep going. Yeah, okay. so isn't this the part of the map with all the hurons in it? Maybe. I see an oak root there. Gloom ahead of us in the lap. Now we have to go east. Looks like we have to go east once we get around here. Oh, look, there's Watch a road. Watch out for the bats. There's a, there's a path here. All the enemies just spawn. Kill the bats. Okay. Alright, let's run along the road a little bit. This should take us in the right direction. There's another gloom wing up ahead. Two of them, actually. I think we found the right road here. I think this is the road. I think we're almost there. I think, I think. Yes, I think we're there. Get that gloom wing. Here we go. We did it. We found the place. Here's Tom Bombadil's house. There he is, the man himself. Skipping and dancing and singing. Doing his Tom Bombadil thing. So many visitors are calling. That's you he's talking about. <laughs> oh man, it's like we're diving. We're diving in this pond. Why aren't we swimming? We're just diving and drowning in there. Yikes. <laughs> okay then. So, we have a chicken stone to find. Up the hill here. Behind the house. Got the little kitchen garden back here. Chicken stone! There's the chicken stone. And now, we have to head up to the Barrow Downs. Ah, we made it through the old forest. That was new. I'd never gone that route before. If anyone watching the video, you could always just go to that entrance to the Barrow Downs and come across the Barrow Downs to get here along this very road that we're taking. Okay. One, two, three chickens. Where's the rest of them? Uh, four, five, six chickens. We're all still here. Yay. Yay. We're doing fine so far. We want to keep all our chickens alive for the whole chicken run. That is our goal. So we're going to cross the Barrow Downs, and, and Ogendok will have plenty of uh, slimy crawlers and uh, bar guests to slay. And whites. Let's not forget the whites. It's a lovely sunny day on the Barrow Downs. It won't look as scary as it does at night. Okay, we're going to cut across here. Not like there's a proper road through here. But we'll manage. Just avoid the red dots if we can. I hold up for them. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look out. There's a vile bar guest there. Do we have lag? Are we experiencing some lag here? Where are you going, Mertensia? Uh, no. I have two chickens with me. I'm not sure where the rest of you are. Okay, yeah, you... we're here. We're here. We're coming up there. We just... We were so of you. Your... Yeah, he missed your turn, Crispy. We're here. We're here. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Here I am. Okay. We're going to head south along the edge of this cliff that's beside the path we just came up. Because there seems to be fewer mobs here if you go along this part. Okay, we got the flock together. Yay. All right then. This is why Discord is good. You can coordinate things so much easier when you have Discord going.
Okay, so we'll go over the hill up ahead instead of the normal way into the Southern Barrow Downs. And we'll take the route that is more to the west side. There it is, we go up this hill. And then it drops us down right by the Great Barrel, where we will hit a chicken stone. Okay, so at the bottom of this hill, there is a foul bar guest there. So if uh, you could just take him out before we all jump down and crunch our little ankles. I'm going to go at an angle here so I don't go crunch. There, no crunch. All good. Thank you for that. <clears throat> now, let's find a chicken stone. It'll be over here somewhere. I'm going to run right up beside the door. Yay, the Great Barrow Chicken Stone right here. <laughs> okay, has everybody got it? And now... We're going to head out of the downs and head for Bree. We've got to discover the, uh, the prancing pony chicken stone. Are we taking the north way out or any of the other ways? We're going, um, we're going to go towards Dead Man's Perch. So we're going up the hill that's ahead of me. And then jump. <clears throat> And then jump. Yes, we can jump. There is a way where you don't have to jump. You don't have to break your ankles if you go a little bit to the right before you go down the hill. I can show you that pathway up to Dead Man's Perch. Another slimy barrel crawler in front of us. And it's dead. Yay. Okay, here's Dead Man's Perch. If you go over this way, there is a path where you can go up and down this slope. to get to um, Dead Man's Perch from South Bree. Just a little farther along. Here it is. You can ride. Is it there? Oh, you see right here? This slope? This slope right over here. You can ride up this slope. So if you're going to Dead Man's Perch, you can go up and down here without having to go around through the Northern Barrow Downs. FYI. Good to know. Okay then. So, we need to talk to a cat. We can go in through Westbury. We don't have to go through Southbury. We can talk to Wink the Cat. We can hit the Prancing Pony.
We're heading for the cat lady's house. Here's Westbury, yay. So we can greet people in our travels. Crafter's going to craft. Say hello to the crafters. <laughs> and they're too busy crafting to notice us. Okay, up we go. Up the stairs, the scholar's stairs. Okay, let's go talk to Wink. Click on Wink. And out we go. I think I'm going to grab a snack real fast. Okay, that sounds like a plan. We can just hang out here with the cat at the door. Take a quick snack break, and uh, I'll see you soon. Just thinking what a player would think if they walked up on us all standing in a circle like this.
I'm back. Welcome back. I'm back. <clears throat> I'm back. I'm back too. Yay. Welcome back, everyone. I don't think everyone's back yet, but we'll give everyone time to take a decent little break. It's a long, long chicken run, so it's nice to have a, a bit of a longer break. And this is a a good place to have a slightly longer break if you want to get up and stretch your legs and do whatever you need to do to stay in top form. I'm going to move about a bit so that I keep alert because having coffee at this hour of the day is just a bad idea <laughs> for me anyway. Do we have to go through Chetwood at all? Um, we can creep past Chetwood by going right on the border of the Lone Lands up on the top of a ridge. So we can avoid Chetwood. It's possible. I nearly died in Chetwood when I was doing this uh, a few days ago on my main. A wolf was hiding behind a tree and nearly got me. Um, so I'd just as soon avoid Chetwood if at all possible. <laughs> All right. Well, the, the the event is well going on. I guess it says it's about to start, and it it gets really laggy for me around that event. 
Ah, oh, so that's another good reason to avoid the chutwood today. Yeah, that's a good plan. Okay, so I get my stuff back on here. I'm just going to move over here. And as people come back from their breaks, they can come over. Oh, it looks like everybody's here. We're all ready to rock and roll. I think two people are on follow. Well, as long as follow is working, and it, it seems to be, yay. We'll just have to make sure we don't lose anybody. SS Mira is following along. Good, yay. All right, here we go then. We run down the hill. We want run up the road opposite us. Oh, no. No, we don't. We go to the Prancing Pony. We have to hit a chicken stone at the Prancing Pony. Let's not forget that. Yes, there seem to be two people following me, so this is good. So it's not in the Prancing Pony. The Chicken Stone is off behind the Milestone. Head over to the Milestone here. Where'd everybody go? So we run over here. Nailed it. Okay then. Did everybody get it? Do we have all our chickens here? Are we missing somebody? One, two. Yeah, yeah, we're all here. We're all here. Okay, I think we all got our chicken stone. Yay. All right, then. Let's uh, head out, then. We're going to go up to Hengstisser Farm. We're going to sneak out the back way, out of Bree. We can go peck at this farmer's crops in the field here. <laughs> hey, I've got a I've got a bob and weave thing that looks like I'm pecking at his crops, right? <laughs> oh, he's an umbar farmer. <laughs> okay, we've harassed him enough. <laughs> Those would be tasty crops to peck at, but We'll leave him to it. And away we go. And we'll just cut through this farmer's crops here. See if we can get him to chase us with a scythe. Okay, now we'll go over this way so we don't fall off the cliff and end up in the abandoned graveyard. That would not be good. I think some of us took the wrong turn. Um, I think I fell down the hill. I'm not sure. Uh, Mertensia is going towards you guys, I think. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Where are we? Where are we? Well, if you guys want to meet us, if you've taken the wrong turn and you want to meet us at Hengstisser Farm, where the horse is up there, that would work. Now, if you end up falling down where the abandoned graveyard is, you might have to go around. Peace. <laughs> I'm trying to lift my hand off of the uh, talk button when I sneeze. But it probably gets picked up on the uh, Twitch stream anyway, so. Okay, there's the edge of that hill. I see the Hobnanigans field now.
Okay, so there's four chickens together here. So I'm hoping there are two chickens together elsewhere, making their way to Hen Hengstisser Farm. Well, I've seen is McClentia. We no, there's five. five of us, Crispy. Is there five I'm of us here? Her. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Okay. So let's head for Hengstisser you Farm. Or rendezvous. Fall. Yep. We will rendezvous there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So we head north from here. I look out for that big old rock there. So I can get across the path without running into fences and hedges and whatnot. And now I can go more north. Zoom to the map, see where I'm going. Well, maybe I'll go this way a bit. We're getting there. We're getting there. Jump over some fences. Oh, so if you're in follow, you'll have to jump. Yay, okay. Yeah, jumping over fences if you've got people following you is not a good idea. So, you know, if people got stuck, then I'd have to jump back and run around. We're almost there. Here we are. Here's the guy. Here's the horse with the quest ring right here. Talk to the guy. Okay then, and now we wait. Now we hang out and just chill. Until the rest of our fellowship catches up to us. Five chickens and a horse. I remember back in the day. Oh, here's Ogendok. Ogendok has arrived. So it's Mertensia that has to make her way here. How you doing, Mertensia? You... Oh, there she is! There she is! Yay! Get the band back together. Yay! One, two, three, four, five, six chickens. Woohoo! Okay then. I shall consult with my list here just to make sure. Hengstis or horse. Okay, now we're, instead of rushing over to see a gray squirrel, that is not where we're going. We are going down the road and up to Trestle Bridge. We have to hit the Trestle Bridge nest next. That is our mission. Okay, so let's go this way. Down to the road. We could take a shortcut. But we don't want to cut in through those nasty orcs and whatnot. There could be bears and all kinds of stuff down this way. Okay, is everybody coming? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're all here. Yay. So we're going to head down the hill. We go parallel to the one road till we hit the other road. I see the other road ahead of us. <laughs> I'm not seeing any red dots on my mini map. Oh, there's one. There's a big old bear in front of me. <clears throat> And there's something else in front of me now, too. A scavenger. And he's gone. Thank you. Thank you, Augendoc. We love you. You're an awesome chicken tender. Keep 
that's all safe on this very ambitious, lengthy adventure. I have to watch out for hungry bears in this neighborhood. They're not just any bears, they are hungry bears. So they're a little bit more dangerous than the curious bears that are down around Adso's farm. I've got a great thumbnail for one of my videos with a hungry bear chasing a goldy flower chicken up the hill. It's quite entertaining. This whole bottom of the screen was hungry bear. Hungry bear backside specifically, filling the view of the camera. Apparently, now I've never had a problem at the Trestle Bridge strange nest. But the trestle bridge can sometimes be attacked by orcs occasionally. So it could be dangerous. I've never had the problem with them there, but that may be just the luck of the draw. So we have to be careful. And the place that we're going to go to next is uh, Duland in Ered Lewin. If you want to get to Duland directly in a hurry and you have a travel skill that takes you to Mickle Delving, then Mickle Delving has swift travel right to Duland, just so you know. And we chickens have to make our way up to the stable. At Dulan. There are some mobs on the hill between the island where the strange chicken nest is in the river and the um, and the road to the bridge. So we've got to be careful. It's doable. We could do it solo if our, if our escort doesn't make it all the way down to the island. It's survivable. I mean, if you have chickens waiting for escorts at the strange chicken nest here, um, there's a little cutout under the bridge support that you can hide away from predators. It's quite handy, actually. Here we go. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to hang a left when we come down here. Right this way. Here is our strange chicken nest. So we're going to head to a little island in the middle of the river in Duland. And then we'll head for the stables. Okay, one, two, three, four chickens. Five chickens. Six chickens. Alrighty then. Yay, we're here. So pretty here. There's a strange chicken nest on the island. And there is the bridge way up there. And if we go this way and watch out for mobs, there's a thick tusk in our way. Looks like there's a mob in the river, too, way over there. 
Do we have room to sneak past this guy? Oh my goodness, look at what he's doing. He's walking across the path. No! Okay, that, that guy's just being rude here. Can we sneak past him? We go this way. Am I taking a big chance here? Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Here we go. We're sneaking. It's working. It's working. But now there's another guy. Okay. And he's right in the middle of the path. Oh. Okay, Ogden Doc. If you can come I'm coming down. in to dwell on right now. Okay. So if you could come down to the bridge that goes south out of there. We're sort of stuck on a hill. Mobs either side of us. We'll just wait the bridge here. between Dweiland and Kalondim? No, no, not that bridge. Oh god, this guy's coming towards us. Run over here, quick. Run over here. Hide by the pine tree. Yay. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. And now we might sneak past him. Okay. Are we missing some? No, I think we're all five, six of us here. One, two, three. Okay, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a second, is somebody still down the bottom of the hill? Somebody might still be down the bottom of the hill. Let me go down and find them. If you want to make your way up to the road, sneak past this guy. And then over here, you'd be safe on the road. I can go down or wait for Ogendok. Okay, so here's... That's... I have no clue where you, you guys are. Okay, so there's chickens on the road. You will find them when you cross the bridge. If you pretend you're going towards the Falathorn Homesteads or Yondershire, that's the direction you need to go, which is south of where you're at. Okay, i got to go down and see if we, we're missing a chicken here. I'm going to find our other chicken. Sneak, sneak, sneak down the hill. Might have left somebody on the island. That's not good. Where's our other chicken? Where is our other chicken? Oh, I see the other chicken down by the shore. Okay, there's a thick tusk sow right in the middle of the path. Okay, thick tusk is going across. Okay, okay, I'm going to sneak past. Okay, now here I am. Here's Mertensia and Vethlo. Found ya. Okay, so here's our other chicken. So we could sneak if you want to. If you're brave, you can sneak with me. Sneak, sneak, sneak right up here. Can we do that? Can we do that? Here we are. Okay, yay, yay. Keep keep going, keep going. Watch out. Oh, there's a guy. Wait, Vethla. Wait, wait, wait. Let's um just Oh fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, sorry, sorry. Pardon my French. Use your possum impersonation. Oh, I'm still alive. How's Vethlo? Did you survive? Did we take too many chances? Oh no. I'm at the bridge now. Where are you guys at? Okay, I'm on the hill. Careful, Mertensia, come up. Where's Vethlo? Did we lose him? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I did not play it safe. Mertensia, why are you down the bottom? Okay, so if you come down the hill towards really the river, I think we may have lost a chicken. I'm so horrified. Oh, pardon my French. I had to mash my possum impersonation there. Okay, okay. Calm down. Okay, if you if if Ogendok, if you could come down the hill, come down the slope towards the bottom here. Somebody ran down the hill. We're down so if you could come down the hill and find us. Here you come. Yay, right this way. Oh, I hope Vethlo survived. Did Vethlo survive? Oh my goodness, so here, yes, yes, Vethlo is here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so relieved. I am so happy that we're all still alive. Okay, let's make our way up to the road. I'm so sorry for putting you in danger, Vethlo. I would have felt horrible if you did not survive that. So yay, let's make our way up to the road. Oh, heaving a huge sigh of relief right now that we are, we still have a, a our whole flock together. Yay! Celebrate! Yay! I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. Okay. 
Thank you, everybody. Now we can carry on to our next destination, which is oh, the stable guy has a chicken stone we need to hit. So let's go into town and hit the stable guy's chicken stone. There won't be any mobs between here and there. It should be pretty safe. We should be fine. Billy Ostrich in the Twitch chat says, Yay, go chickens! So it's like, thank goodness for that possum impersonation. So the number one skill you need to remember as a chicken is mash that button if something comes after you. Mash it while you're running, preferably. That's the best way. So we had some drama. We must have drama. It's kind of inevitable that you're going to have some drama during a six-hour chicken run. So, uh... It all had a happy ending this time, so yay. And here we go, up here, up the steps. And up more steps. Stop to admire that pretty view. So pretty here. So we're going to find a chicken stone, and then we're gonna, going to go and uh, talk to a critter at Thracy's Lodge next. Okay, where's chicken stone? Chicken stone, where are you? Here it is. Okay, so I should open up my deed tracker. Let's see, where is the Arid Lewin? So, Arid Lewin Explorer, I'm adding to my tracker. Arid Lewin Traveler, I'm adding to my tracker. Okay, so I've got these. So now, Traveler says, speak with the Lynx Mother. And Explorer says, there's chicken stones at Caladool and Thorin's Hall. Okay, then. So our next adventure will be to find the chicken stone at Keladool, I think. That would be the next uh, next destination. We'll do that first and hit Thracy's Lodge on our way up to Thorin's Hall. And then run all the way back down here to the strange chicken nest. That's the next leg of our journey. I am a happy chicken today. Things are going very well so far, right now. I wasn't so sure about that a few minutes ago, but boy oh boy, am I happy that we all survived that little adventure. See, that was taking a risk, running up the hill, dodging the mobs without our, our chicken tender. That was taking a risk. But it worked out in the end. We were being very brave chickens to do that. But chickens who are really chicken are, are the safer chickens who tend to live longer. So, you know, I would have felt very bad if we lost Bethlo because Bethlo, we lost Bethlo on a previous chicken run on one of the flying the coop runs. And I felt bad about it. No, it wasn't. It was the Minas Tirith run, I think, where we lost Bethlo at one point. And that was quite tragic. I can't remember if you ever completed the run on a future version of it or not. But we'll get another chance to do that one, if not. We're going to go find the chicken stone at Kelly Duel. And then we'll hit Thracy's Lodge. So we don't have to go into where all the mobs are. You can follow the path most of the way to the gate and then dash over to the right. And there's a one of these stone spires there that has a chicken stone at the base of it. So it'll be easy to find. 
Well, I can see it from here. We got everybody with us. One, two, three, four, five. Am I missing a chicken? Who's missing here? We got fat low. We got drumstick. How many chickens do you get? One, two, three, four. Oh, we're, yeah, okay. We were just overlapping or something. Okay, we're good. We're good. Carry on. We have the whole flock with us, so that's good. So we're just going to go off-roading here. Right here. Here's the chicken stone. All right, we got it. Now I can go back to the road. Yikes. Thank you for that. Made the bear go bye-bye. Now we can go back up the hill. Talk to Lynx Mama at Thracy's Lodge next. Here we come, right up here, cut across here to the driveway, no red dots on the mini-map, so yay. Okay, there's Link's Mama, a little quest ring there, it's all good. Yay. Feed completed. All right then, now, now we're in for a long run there and back again, up to Thorin's, Thorin's Lodge. So, we could pause for a little selfie here, a little photo op, stand, crowd around Link's mama here. Oh, look at her doing this stretchy thing. Sit in the dwarf's lap or stand behind him. Link's mama with a bunch of chickens around her. It's all good. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's uh, head up the road to... Um, we're going to head up the road all the way to Thorin's Hall. That is our next adventure. If you want to put put me on follow? We should be okay for a simple follow run. If you want to follow me, I will lead you there. And there shouldn't be too much nasty stuff along the road. We have four hours and 13 minutes left. That means almost half of our time is left. So when we get to the point where there's two hours left,
We have less, I would say less than two hours left to get to the end of this part of the run for most of us. We'll be fine. We're just going to scoot around Gondamon on the main road. Shave off a little distance, getting off the road a bit. Here we are. And if you've never done the treasure hunt event, that little road that goes off to the right here, that goes to the treasure hunting fields. And if you go play the, tr the buried treasure event when it's on, which is, I think it's a couple times here, you can get chicken-related stuff, like chicken pets. You can get carrying chickens there. If you carry enough carrying chickens, then you get a permanent skill for carrying a chicken. But it looks kind of funny. You're holding it out in front of you, kind of like a, uh, a football you're about to punt. <laughs> so there is that. Here we go. Nice views in the distance here. See those ruins full of goblins up ahead? Nasty goblins. If you've ever done Slayer Saturday, you're familiar with this part of the map. There will be a Slayer Saturday event on next week and the week after. I should look that up and let you know which server it's going to be on. There's a schedule. If you look up Hilda Galadriel's uh, um, Twitter page, I should post something about that on there. And I'm pretty sure I posted on the Discord in the public section. I probably put something in the public section about the schedule for the whole year. Or Slayer Saturday. So it's all mapped out for the whole year where the where the events are going to be for Slayer Saturday. The Slayer Saturday is an event where a bunch of people get together, they form up a raid, they run around Erdluin and the Shire on alternating weekends and uh, slay all the things on one server. So the first week you go to Arid Loon, you meet at the docks at Selendim, and you run around and slay all the things. Get all those sweet, sweet Latro points. And then the following week you meet on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern time, server time. And the second week you go to the Shire and you meet at the Stable Master in the Shire and you run around the Shire and slay all the things and get those sweet, sweet Latro points. So it's, it's a nice way to uh, build up your account so you can get things in the Latro store quicker. And you can just roll a tune on the servers where they happen. You don't have to have a high level tune to do this. Hunters are probably best. So you can often skip the intro and by the time you've slayed your way through, you've built up enough uh, levels get through it and you're with other people in the in the raid so if your tune is low level it doesn't matter you're not going to get uh, too much trouble killing things because you've got a lot of help and i think it's uh i can't remember off the top of my head who it is that streams i think it might be the green eye gamer that does the um Slayer Saturday. Oh, people. I 
How are we doing? Yeah, everybody's still here. Yay. Yeah, Slayer Saturdays are fun. And Hildy Go Seek is fun. I haven't done Hildy Go Seek in a while. But it's time to do it again. Maybe a one of the Slayer Saturdays when it's not on. Because Slayer Saturday, they have a pattern where they do one week is Eric Lewin, and the next week is the Shire. And then the next week, there's no Slayer Saturday. And the week we're, that's why we're doing our um, free range chicken run today. Because there's no Slayer Saturday today. So, uh, what we got on a future break on Slayer Saturday, we'll probably, I'll probably schedule a Hill to Go Seek game in Rivendell. And the way that works is, I go in ahead of time, and I hide several tunes in various places in Rivendell. So I will take the tune in, find the hiding place that I've scouted at ahead of time, and then I will hide the tune and log them off. And then hide another tune and log them off. And then when the game begins, I will log in as one of my hidden tunes. And everybody has to try and find me. And the first person to find me gets usually like 10 gold or something. The second person might get 5 gold. So the second person, you know, um, still has the opportunity to win a prize. So, and it sometimes turns into a race. If somebody says, oh, I found the person in such and such a location, then the second person to find me, it's, it's not so much a hiding, it's who's closest and who can race there quickest. So it's all good. Here's a chicken stone. Yay, completed Erloon Explorer. Yeehaw. Okay, then. Now. Apparently, I got stuck on a statue, so now I'm behind. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. I'm going to consult my list here and make sure I know where we're going next. Okay, we are going to head back to that nest now. We're going to go back down the hill. Okay, is everybody up here now? Did everybody get it? We all good? We have six chickens. Six happy chickens who got the deed done here. Yay. All right, then. You can all follow again if you like, and I'm going to run all the way back down the hill. All the way through from Thorin's Hall back to where the elves hang out. We will cross the bridge and go back down to that strange chicken nest. And this time, we will wait for our... Chicken tender to make it safe for us. Because he's awesome. I'll go around. I'll go around so people don't get hung up. We hope. <laughs> Let's not get anyone hung up on statues or walls or steps. That would not be good. It's so hard to tell. It's like they're all, you know... They're all stuck together there. <laughs> it's hard to see how many chickens I've got with me. Here we go. We good. We good. Down the road we go. So, mapping out the rest of the run. Once we get to the chicken nest, it drops us, it drops us back at the trestle bridge. And from there, we're going to head north. North. Ugh. We will head north to Fornost. That's where we'll go. And then after that, we'll head to Gatson's Farm. Then we'll find an Oryx yearling on the hill. Then we'll head for Esteldin. And Angmar. And do things in Angmar. And then we go back to Breland. And then we hit the Lone Lands. And then we will have the... Uh, the sequel to our adventure and make our way across the high moor and after that am i going the right way here where am i yeah i think i'm going the right way 
Dun, dun, dun. And we'll end the chicken run adventure today back at Eve's fires. Most of us will end the adventure back at Sanson's farm after we hit the lone, the last bridge, Chicken Stone. And Crispy will too, but then we will have someone meet our last chicken at the last bridge again. And uh, we will do the little epilogue to the adventure. It's all good. Crispy can come back. Crispy can come back and be a chicken tender for the last bit of the run. Watch out for Hendrival down here. <clears throat> There's this one Hendrival that hangs out very close to the road. He's not very aggressive though. There was a stealth mob a second ago, but it, you guys passed it. Oh my goodness. Stealth mobs, the nerve of them. Yeesh. If you stay on the road, you're usually okay through here. And I haven't had a problem with stealth mobs in this part of the, the world. As long as you stay on the road, you're usually fine. It's when you go off-road and that you're taking a chance. Like when you're going from Bree into the Lone Lands, you got to stay on the road. Because if you don't, you could run into a silent yellow fang and be dead before you even know they're there. So when we go on the last leg here, when we will we'll be going at one point we'll be going down from the gray squirrel in Nenharn to uh, Snicken in the Midgewater Marsh. And when we go from Snicken to the Lone Lands, we're going to go right down to the road in Bree, that main road in Bree, and go along the road into the where the Forsaken Inn is that way, rather than going cross country from Snicken to the Forsaken Inn, because that would be very dangerous. Here we go. Take a little shortcut right across here. Say hi to the mottled hair. It's a friendly mottled hair. We're doing very well on this chicken run. I'm very pleased. We only have one one hardworking chicken tender with us. 
if you look on the there's a sans and farm discord channel and they posted some links to there's an article that somebody wrote about um how to be a chicken escort and they have this thing called the chicken formation where you know if you have a whole bunch of chicken tenders one can be out front and we call him the beak and then you've got the left wing and the right wing and the tail feather behind <laughs> it's all very cute and it worked out well because they used that formation when i when they did the big chicken runs on landreville server that crispy participated in but uh it's it's more than you need usually and we're proving that today by doing this with one chicken tender it's all going very well hey people questing here we are to the bridge to the bridge yep Yep, and the red dots are disappearing in front of us. Yay. Oh, it's dusk. No wonder the light is so pretty. Color of the trees. So pretty. How are we doing? We're doing good. Okay. Trees are glowing. The light of the setting sun. <laughs> and we still have Billy Ostrich with us in the Twitch chat. Hey, Billy. Careful chickens, he said. I forget where we were when we said that. Oh, probably when the stealth critter had been slain before we even knew it was there. <laughs> Yikes. There we go, across the bridge. Okay then. Now we're gonna make our way down the hill to the right. Make our way to the island. Oh, we got some lag here. Yikes. Yikes. Rubber banding. Rubber banding. Okay, it stopped. Yay. Wild gray wolf down. Yay. That tusker that tried to chase me earlier. Oh, we got wolves here. Yikes. I'm going to go off to the side here because there's a red dot on my right. That's okay. Off we go to the island. Yay. Here's our strange chicken nest. Okay, so when we go to the other side, we're going to end up at Trestle Bridge, right? We're going to run underneath the bridge and wait there until our escort finds us. Okay, so Og and Doc can make his way. I use, I use, I find, um, find your way to a stable master. You know the mission stable master? He takes you right to the, um, the mission stable master in Trestle Bridge. That's how I got my escort here when I was doing this last time. I yeah, I'm already in Trestle Bridge. Okay, awesome. We're hiding under the bridge. You gotta be careful because there could be like orcs. Oh, I hear bows and arrows. I hear I hear combat sounds out there. 
Did orcs attack the bridge? We want to stay in here if they did. Yikes. That's scary. Is they uh, Orcs will occasionally approach the bridge, so we can hide underneath the bridge and not worry about the orcs. Okay, I should take a picture of us in here. All hiding under the bridge. Make the names go away. <laughs> I heard that crunch. <laughs> so did somebody just take a shortcut off the edge of the bridge? Yay! Okay, our escort has arrived. Yay! Are we ready to rock and roll, people? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're heading north. We're heading for Fornos now. Let's run for Fornos. You don't see any orcs, do you? I hope not. I hope not. Let's head for the road here. We sort of scoot around just in case, just in case orcs come down from their camp. Alrighty then. Here's the flock. We got the flock together. Now, all the way up to Fornost. Get my auto run happening. So my bedtime reading these days is Fellowship of the Ring. Last night I was reading about Tom Bombadil. Have you ever read the companion, um, the, the reader's companion, I think, Hammond and Skulls? I don't know. I don't believe I have. But uh, I can... I will be putting that sort of thing on my reading list once I get through this adventure of reading which I've not enjoyed for so long because I just recently purchased a really nice copy of the um, combined um, edition where it's illustrated by the author it comes with all the maps it comes with other extra goodies in the package it was rather expensive more expensive than the Hobbit and Silmarillion that I recently purchased so I got The Hobbit and The Silmarillion recently and read those. And then I got an even nicer version of The Lord of the Rings. And now I'm reading that and rather enjoying it. It's been a while. Now I listened to the audiobooks a year or two ago. And that was nice, but it's not the same. It's just not the same as holding a paper book in your hands and reading with your eyes instead of your ears. Just a different experience. Not a bad experience. Audiobooks have their place. I rather enjoy listening to them when I'm doing like chores and whatnot that are not too um, intensive in terms of your attention, right? You can wash dishes or do laundry or whatever. But yeah, I used to have a copy of Lord of the Rings, like three paperbacks in a slipcover thing. Somebody borrowed Fellowship and I never saw it again. And like, it, it wasn't until like 30 years later that I finally replaced my missing book. But now I got a much nicer copy than the one I had before. So, yay. I figured I treated myself. I deserved it. It was like, Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> so. The Reader Companion is like a, annotations for the, the three books. Oh, that I would enjoy. I like reading the footnotes to things. So, I, I noticed there's a there's a book of maps and stuff. I love maps. I will have to put that on my on my wish list as well. Add that to my collection. One of my little future projects that I like to do is compare Middle Earth in the game to actual quotes from the book. Like just little details like the fox and locate as many of those I can and find the place in the books where it talks about, you know, like the, the trolls, the stone trolls and the troll shaws where Tom and Bill and what's his face, 
um, Bert, Tom, and Bill, I think, are the names of the trolls from The Hobbit that are in the troll shaws frozen in place. And just make a little blog post or something where I compile as many of those as I can. And just look at details in the book and see, here's a detail that they copied very faithfully, you know, and just point it out. Okay, gotta be careful now. He's up ahead of us. There will be mobs to slay. Just a few of them on the road in. There's an orc on the right side of the path. Right in front of me. A little bit of rubber banding here. Yikes. Yikes. And there's a chubby guy on the other side. And then there's a warg and a ravager. Yikes. Yikes. Back up, people. Look out. Look out. Look out for the warg and the ravager on the path. Back it up, people. Look out. It's a little dangerous here. Okay, just running away here. There's a warg now. The warg's got to go, too. Can we, can we get the warg down? I'm just running away from this warg that's walking down the path. The leg. <laughs> the leg. That leg could have killed us all. <laughs> I, I kept clicking on it and it wasn't doing anything. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, at least we were able to back up before it reached us. So yay for that. Let's run up here before they respawn. Oh, my goodness. So through the wooden gate is the next batch of mobs that we will have to do away with. Yikes. So we will run up and find the next chicken stone. There's a couple of orcs around a campfire up ahead, up ahead here. And sometimes there's some critters that are red dots on the mini-map apart from them. So the, the flock will gather on this side of the gate and wait for the red dots to disappear. There's another red dot just to the right past the campfire. <laughs> and another red dot just past that one. Okay, so let's go around this side of the campfire and head for the steps over here. I think the chickens are in the clear here. Here we come. Yay. Up the steps. Straight up the, the ramp here. We're doing good. Billy Ostrich said, nice shot. Not sure which shot that was. I'm trying to pay attention to where I'm going rather than focusing entirely on the chat. Focusing too much on the chat is a good way to end your chicken run early, so we don't want to do that. We appreciate the uh, the cheering section in the Twitch chat, so thank you all for that. Here we go. Our chicken stone is way over here in the corner. Right this way. Boom. We did it. Do I even have my North Downs? Okay, let me pause and get my... North Downs Explorer loaded on the map. North Do North Downs Traveler uh, loaded on the quest tracker. So we've got Breland Traveler, North Downs. And we can do Angmar, Lone Lands, and Lone Lands. So now all of my deeds are on my quest tracker so I can see all the things that we still have to do. Are we getting roasted up here? <laughs> Why not, eh? Roasted chickens. All right, then. Our next adventure. Two birds in a hand. Talk to the hand. Birds in the hand are worth how many in the bush? How many yeah. How many birds in a bush would, would yeah, this is a That's map your problem. Picture. That's your picture. Oh, <laughs> up here, birds in a hand. Okay, so let me get my, uh, okay, if I move around here. I guess I... Oh, good. Okay, so where did our chicken tender go? Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Okay, so let me move around. If we can get that last chicken up in the hand. And here's our chicken tender up by the fire. Let me take away that. All right, there's a nice... <laughs> Perfect. 
perfect chickens. Okay, there's the whole flock and our chicken tender way up by the wrist there. That'll that'll make a that'll make a uh, a nice little what do you call it thumbnail the thumbnail for the video. So do we rush out to try to beat the spawn in, or do we wait for them to spawn again? Well, we'll see. We'll see when we go down there. If we're quick, maybe we'll uh, we'll do it in time. But it's dangerous. We might be better off waiting for them to respawn and then slaying them on the way out. We might get past the guys at the campfire before they respawn, if we're quick. We'll see. I gotta get my mini map back. Pop open my uh, UI and stuff. Put my names back on so I see what's going on here. Okay, it looks like we might have respawns already. Yes, yes, they have respawned. They have respawned. So feel free to take out those two guys at the campfire. Yay! Thank you very much. And off we go through the gate. The first gate. There's another gate. Watch out for the uh, guys that'll come up the path. They'll come right through this next gate. No Mertensia. Watch the. Watch out for the red dots on your mini map. Let's get our. Uh, let our chicken tender go out ahead of us here. There's one, two, three, four guys that really should be defeated before we head out. Oh, look at that. This, the warg socket. They just spawned right at the gate there. They just spawned right at the gate. That's scary. Scary guys. There's another one down. And the Ravager is going down. Okay then, now, turning on my auto run and off we go down the road, yay! Go on this side of the road because there's a red dot on the other side. It's all good. And we're well past them now. Not to worry. So now we're headed for Gatson's farm. The Gatson's farm chicken stone is our next destination. Oh, there's somebody in my IM, so I didn't even see. Someone has to... Oh, that's not... False alarm. I'm good. Okay, then. Off we go down the road. I'll have to check and see. Once I get into Angmar... I may have to go into my options for audio and turn off ambient sound because it's just too annoying. You know what? Why do I not have any music playing here? I should be very careful doing this. Uh, where's my music? Music is like way down. Ambient sound is off, so yay. So it won't be so annoying once we get into... Um, what do you call it? Angmar? It can be very What annoying. part of Angmar do we have to go into? Well, we'll go in through that Earthkin village, Le Lemakoti or whatever. Um, yeah, Lemakoti, Chicken Stone. And then we go into Ogare. 
And then we head over to Malinhad and find a chicken stone in the, an encampment there. And then we run up to a cha strange chicken nest to leave. So it's uh, pretty straightforward. It's not too bad. But there are stealth mobs on the road out of Ogare. Those um, Sklara or whatever they're called. Skara. Here we go. Off we go to Gaston's farm. So the stealth guys are kind of scary. And that's where um, hunter tracking skills are very helpful during that particular segment of the adventure. I could bring back... I could try and bring back my hunter just so his tracking skills can be used on that segment of the run. But I had one hunter get me across that section two days ago when Hilda Galadriel accomplished this uh, quest. Go chickens. Carefully in the end run now, says Billy Ostrich. Please merchandise when you do it on Arkenstone. Ha ha. <laughs> okay, so, all right. So we have a request to do crispy chicken runs on Arkenstone. I hear ya. Should I put crispy chicken on a t-shirt or something? I don't know. I've, I've not, none of my stuff here is monetized or whatever. But I will be participating in a charity stream thing that's happening, I think, around the beginning of March. I saw someone put up a thing looking for streamers for a charity stream. So what I'll do is I'll do some sort of chicken run that weekend. And I'll just link to her charity thing in the stream and then raid into her charity stream once my chicken run is over. So that's that's a thing that will be fun to do. So yeah, I, I don't have... there. There is no crispy chicken merchandise at this point. <laughs> I suppose it's it's doable, maybe. Um, yeah, it does not exist yet. I know how to do it. I can. I know there's a place where you can go and put a design on a T-shirt, and people can order it from the store that makes the T-shirts or hats or whatever it is, baseball hats. Yeah, crispy is crispy's awesome. So off we go down the road. I should try and pay attention to the uh, to the mini map here. I don't want to get distracted looking at chat and forget to watch for red dots on my mini map. That would that would be unwise. That would be at least as unwise as eating barrow brie. If you know, you know. Oh, hang on a second here. Off we go. With a slight delay. Sometimes there's mobs close to the road when we run through here. Here we go. Watch out for the nasty guys. Alright, we're on our way. It'd be fairly easy to get to Gatson's farm from here. And down the hill to the bridge. Nice wide gaps between the red dots on my mini map, so pleased about that. Makes our chicken run less stressful.
Oh, so Billy Ostrich says. I mean, I mean, post it somewhere or anything. Because uh, I'd love to run a free range as a chicken with my main character. Well, you know, we can do that on Arkenstone. I, I do have interest. Somebody ran a free range, uh, a free range chicken run on Arkenstone a few a couple weeks, maybe a couple months ago. It wasn't that long ago. I would have liked to have been there, but life intervened and I wasn't able to join the run. I would have enjoyed that. But next time there's um, a chicken run on Arkenstone, and maybe I'll do. Um, maybe I'll do some of the other chicken runs on Arkenstone. I might do a series of free range chicken runs on Arkenstone. That would be fun. Just pick one night a week or whatever, and they'll do the free range series, and then followed by Minas Tirith and the Lonely Mountain. And but doing free range on Arkenstone, that's a that's a tall order. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hey, Gatson's farm. Where's Gatson's farm? Oh, it's up ahead of us. We're not there yet. That's a different farm we just passed by. Okay, so we want to head for Gatson's farm. There's farmhouse is up this way. We'll follow this little ridge here. Oh, yikes, yikes. There's an orc up ahead. There's an orc. Let's go down here. <laughs> Let's go around the orc. Let's give him a wide berth. Yeah. And we can go up behind this farmhouse. We got the Gatson's farmhouse. Where is everybody? Everybody following? Good, 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 good. Right at the corner of the farmhouse here. This is where our chicken stone is hiding. Did we get it? Did we get it? Uh, on the Cote, where's our North Down? So now it says, discover the Estelle in chicken stone. North Down Explorer should only have one chicken stone left on it at this point. And now? We gotta watch out for some scary spiders on the hill as we head for that oryx yearling on the other side of the hill. Look out for the red dots on the minimap. Okay. Oh, there's a roving warg right in front of us there. We can do without him. Thank you very much. doesn't work on the hill. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a spinner. There's a spinner. Do without him. Thank you very much. You're doing a great job, Agandok. We appreciate you so much. So much. We love you. Okay, where is the herd? Aha! I think they're this way. We have to find the herd. And there's the quest ring for the little guy. Let's talk to the little guy here. Finish now. Completed North Downs Traveler. Yay. And now for our next adventure, let's head for Esteldon. Right this way. We can head right down here to the road. for the critters there. Now, if I look at the map, yeah, we kind of got to go off to, if we go straight north, we'll find the little road that goes in. We can go around in between these uh, mobs here. Straight ahead here to get to the road. The red dots are disappearing from the map, so yay! This Northern Plains buck is harmless. He's not going to cause us any problems. But he'll disappear anyway, then, no doubt. Okay. There's a bear up there. People! There's another bear walking towards the road. Yeah, that was a bad idea, bear. Should have stayed away.
Okay, here we go. Oh, the scary part is over for a few minutes while we are in Estelden. So we will find our chicken stone. And it's a good place to stop for another short break. And our chicken stone is in the middle section of Estelden. There's sort of three uh, courtyards. It's the middle one we're going to. Right this way. Here's our chicken stone. Completed North Downs Explorer. Yay. Okay then. Yay. We got that done. Alrighty then. So, uh, I guess here's as good a place as any. We could come over to the campfire and like just warm our, warm our tail feathers here for a few minutes. I'm just going to go powder my nose. I will be back very soon and we can carry on.
Okay, I think I've got a really good... Well, I'm back! Look, a nice little roast chicken thumbnail. That should work. I did my screen grab. It'll show up funny on the Twitch stream, but oh well. So is everybody here? Or are some people still on their little break? Oh, I'm back. Yay. I'm ready. Okay, we'll run over here and see who follows me. That's how you know who's back from break. <laughs> Start moving. Okay, so Vethlo and S's Mira are still on their little break. We shall wait. No chicken will be left behind. Not just for taking a break. So, we are going to go um, out the back way here to uh, the eastern part of uh, North Downs, and then we're going to head north to Lemakoti, find a chicken stone. Then we head to Ogare, find a chicken stone. And then we head for Turn Luig Camp, out in the Malinhad, find a chicken stone. Then we hit, hit the nest in Malinhad, which takes us to Nenharn. At which point we will go meet the gray squirrel, and then snicken down in the mid Midgewater Marsh, and then we do the Lone Lands, Forsaken Inn, Weathertop, Radagast, Last Bridge. And then at that point, we will continue, some of us, across the, uh, the Troll Shaws to the strange nest there head for Evendim and go see Longbow in the Eve Spires and then we'll be everybody will be all finished okay it looks like everybody's moving now so uh let's let's do this I'm gonna go on auto run and away we go say hi to the local chickens howdy chicken our pale co cousin there <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> one chicken for all, all chickens for one. Yes, we are a great little team. We're doing so well. I'm so pleased with how this chicken run is going. We are a successful flock today. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. We will continue. Knock on wood. I'll just knock on my head here. Yep. We shall hopefully get everyone to the last bridge in one piece without anybody being yeeted back to Sanson's farm accidentally. That would not be good. Here we go, down the path. So there's a few earthkin and some wolves on the way up to the passage out of the North Downs. We'll have to watch out for them. There's a bit of a hill. Or, I don't know if I'd call it a cliff, but there's a very steep hill ahead of us at some point. Checking the map, make sure I'm going the right way. A little bit off this way. Okay. There's a gap in the hill over here. <clears throat> Head for the green onion here. Oh. And the drop of honey we also cannot pick up. Oh, there's a dire warg over there. And it's gone. Thank you very much. And we'll go up over this little hill. And we head for the path out of the North Downs. 
when I'm watching all the time for the red dots on the mini-map. So these guys are not showing up as threats on my mini-map. We can just run right through the herd. They're good. They're fine. They're fine. There's a guy up ahead on the right. He is not fine. He is a, like, warg or something over there. Who's that? We got lots of room. We're good. Away we go. <laughs> it's a nice one. I see a threat right ahead of me on the path and then it disappears. There's a war hunter ahead. There he goes. He's gone. Yay. And here comes another ward walking towards the path. Thank you, Olga Doc. We love you. We love you. You're doing such a great job keeping us alive. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're so, so awesome. This is great. And up we go. Now we go to the Earthkin Village. Get a chicken stone and keep going. And last time I was here I had to run around looking for it, but now I remember where it is, so we won't waste any time hunting for the chicken stone. This mirrors just going freestyle all over the place, making an obstacle course out of all the rocks on the path. Because why not? So the critters who live in this village are scary looking, but they are not a threat. And so it's all fine. It's fine. They're not like their nasty uh, cousins out on the plain there that show up as red dots. These guys are. These guys are cool. These guys are cool. It's all good. Okay, so we're going to go over this way. And then we'll go over this way. Where is it? Where is it? Somewhere over here. Found it. Chicken stone. We found the chicken stone. Yay. It's all good. Okay then. And now, moving right along to the next town. There won't be any nasty mobs between here and there. It's not till we get to the the next uh, after the next chicken stone. There's a bit of a scary stretch. Not too bad though. Is everyone following? It appears to be. Yep. The flock is all here. All right then. And don't fall off the hill on the right. Just stay on the path. We'll be fine. More ore, I can't mine. It would be rude to stop and do mining on a chicken run anyway. Wouldn't want people to have to wait.
so three hours 13 minutes left and lots of time and fewer and fewer things to do now <clears throat> Buddy up here has a throne, and there's a chicken stone right beside it. Oh, people! Bane of York's here. We're gonna run right past the chicken stone, just right here. Yay, we did it! We hit our chicken stone. Alright then. <laughs> we celebrate! And greet all these people. I got lost. Uh oh, where are you? Well, I fell under a bridge. Oh no! Where are you now? Did you get to the chicken stone yet? I'm right in the middle. Right in the middle? Okay, hang on. Where's Drumstick? Where's Drumstick? There you are! There you are! Oh, I, I see you! I see you! I see you! Okay, come this way. Come this way. Come this way to the chicken stone. Here's the chicken stone right here. Right here. Yay. Thank Yay. you. Yay. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. Let's go. Let's do this. We'll go out the scary side of the town where the stealth critters are, so we'll have to be careful. We may have to wait for our hunter to use um, tracking skills to find the scary guys. So we definitely want Ogendok to go out in front of us. Unless we're using paranoia, we could use paranoia and uh, see what turns up that way. And our verbal communication will be very important. Okay, we all in a row here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got six chickens, yay. This is another slightly dangerous part, so we want to be careful here. So Ogendok may want to use tracking skills. Uh-oh. Oh, lordy, we've got rubber banding going on. Oh, this is scary. Okay, so... There's a hunter. You stay on the path. Okay, so if... Remember your skills. Remember to mash possum impersonation if you have a problem. Okay? If something tracks on you, mash your possum impersonation and run like hell. Okay? Does that make sense? Let me keep my... Uh... In fact, I might just mash it as I'm running down the road here anyway. I'm just going to keep hitting number three. Just randomly tap the number three on your keyboard. So that you don't get surprised by a stealth critter. So I've got a different finger on my W key. And I'm just repeatedly tapping. Oh, there's a hunter in front of me. I'm just tapping the possum impersonation. Uh-oh. Okay, so can we go and tap? I'm tapping possum impersonation while I'm running. Okay. Now, W and three, W and three, W and three. That's what I'm hitting. Watch out for the guy in front of us here. And he's down, yay. W and three. There's a crawler up ahead. So is Ogendok doing tracking? Oh, there's a crawler coming at us. I'm running backwards. So Ogendok here. Oh, he got a guy. And the crawler seems to be... Yeah, the, the crawler, crawler dead? just it was a red dot. Okay, that red dot's gone. Down. Okay, so... We're right beside you guys. I killed it. I, I saw that. Yeah, that was scary. Okay, so... W and three, W and three. 
There's another guy up ahead that's on the left. Got a hunter. And there's a deadly ash crawler on the other side. Oh, there's a hunter on the road. Oh dear, my um I hit my my three while I was stopped and so my awesome impersonation is on cooldown. So I'm gonna be very careful here. I need to be very careful. Okay, I'm running after Hogendock. Hoping he's gonna pick up any uh, stealth guys. If I hit any stealth guys now, I'll just have to run like hell and use spell fleetness. We're almost up to the camp area, so it'll be safer there to wait for my cooldown to end. Run into the camp. Bela Crow. Oh, relief! Relief! We survived the nasty bit. Now, we could still have some nasty guys out the other side. If we could just wait here for one minute for my cooldown to end so I will once again be able to access my possum impersonation if I need it, then I would appreciate that. So, we'll just take a deep breath. These little suspenseful moments where it make these chicken runs interesting. So here we are hanging out. Oh, people. Hey, people. Oh, somebody's got a Theorbo there. We get a minstrel. We get a minstrel here. Okay, my cooldown is almost over. Right then, so what to do now? What to do now? We have to okay, cooldown is over. Now we can move along out to the road and turn right at the intersection. There we go, make the red dot disappear. Yay! And Augendok did his tracking thing. Look for stealth guys. And away we go to the road. Here we are. And now, right face, march. So we're going to head for that camp. And once we get there, we head almost due north to get to the strange chicken nest in the Malinhad. So there will be plenty of critters to be slain on the way across the Malinhad. There's going to be those bog lurkers and sickle flies. Those will be posing a threat. Not an insurmountable threat. For everyone to catch up to me. Here it is. Here's the Malin hat. Here he flies. Gonna be going in this direction. 
So there's a bit of a plateau off to the, the right there. the map and get pointed in the right direction just a little bit this way this way this is the way we need to go so we can thread the needle here go between the two red dots as we watch them disappear Till that fly disappears. Oh yikes, a bog lurker. That bog lurker. I could do without the swamp lurker. I could. Let's just thread our way between them here. I think I was rather close. Okay, we can go along the edge of this thing here. Look at all those red dots. Okay, so you got a buzzing swamp fly on the right here. Yay. All right, now he's gone. We can just sort of go away from the other red dots. Oh, there's one ahead of us there. That worm I can do without. And he's gone. And now there's a fly in front of us and another fly past him. Alrighty then. This is good. We're making progress. Got a lurker. Where did that campfire thing go from my map? Very strange. Okay, I see the camp now. I see the camp. I think there's a gate over this way. Let's go past these guys. Kind of laggy here, isn't it? Yikes, 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 yikes. Hide behind our hunter here. There's a swamp lurker on the other side of the path we're following. Careful, Mertensia. Careful. All right, we can go around this thing here. Go off to the right-hand side and go around this thing. Oh, look out for all those turtles. Yikes. They're scary. They're scary. Here we go. You can take a breather in the camp here. Yay. Safe with our clan watchmen at the gate. And over here in the shrubbery, you will find a chicken stone. Completed! Angmar Explorer! Yay! And here come my chicken brethren. <laughs> Lagginess here. It's all fine. <laughs> yeah, get a close-up view here. All right then. And now we're going to go back out the same gate. Does anyone need a breather? Are you all good? I'm good. Okay. Is it just me or is it a little bit laggy around here? <laughs> Detecting a little bit of lag. So, okay, we're going to go out. We're going to sort of keep to the left-ish. The path we'll follow will be sort of to the left-ish. Kind of got to go north once we get over this way a bit. All right then. So we shall find the chicken nest. I know just where it is. We'll be going through similar mobs as the ones we went through before. And it's better to go up here 
rather than the same old path. Because if we went on the same path we came in on, moths would potentially respawn right on top of us, and that would not be good. So we will take a slightly different route to make sure we're not on the same exact path. Uh-oh. Reduced awareness. Yikes. And there's a mob up in front of us. We shall wait for Ogendok. Okay. So it might be best to let Ogendok lead and just generally head due north. Just due north from here. That's where we want to go. I'll try and stay behind Ogendok. Awesome job slaying those nasty critters. Mm -hmm. There's a lurker. Excuse me. And another fly. So we head across here. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Wow, that thing just spawned right in front of me. The dots just appeared. So this is the area that we came through before. Okay, buzzing swan oh, fly. It's lagging. I'll, I'm trying to get it. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. No worries. Okay, he's down. Yay. So due north. There's a stand of trees over there. Where we're headed is that stand of trees. Our nest is there. We should be okay for mobs if we head for the road here. Okay, things are going well. One, two, three, four, five, six chickens. Hortensia's a tail feather today. Okay, so now we gotta go up here and find the nest. Now, when we arrive at the other side, be careful. There could be turtles nearby. When we find the nest, here it is. You may want to go directly into the water. Swim out into the water when you get to the other side. Because there could be um, critters in the water. So, where we're going to turn up is Nenharn. So, Agendok, if you know where the, the gray squirrel is on the island in Nenharn, that's where we are going to show up next. So if you get to Hengstasur Farm and then ride out east from there to where the gray, gray squirrel is in Nenharn, you know where that is? That's where we're going to be. Yeah, next. but uh, is it closer to go to Trestle Bridge or is it closer to go to Bree? Um, well, you could go to wherever you have a stable master. For Hengstasur Farm, it might be quicker from Trestle Bridge. I don't know. You could try that. So... So we'll meet you in Nenharn somewhere. We can just hang out swimming in the lake <laughs> while you travel to where we are so that um, it's all good. Okay, so here we are. Let's get out into the water. You see, as soon as I landed, you could see red dots on the minimap. So there it is. And while, while our wonderful escort is traveling to reconnect with us, we can find the gray squirrel on the island if we are careful. Now, the last time I attempted, the last time Crispy on Gladden attempted the free range chicken run, he was defeated by a snapper turtle on this very island that we are heading to now. So there is danger here for chickens, but if we stay in the water until we get to where the gray squirrel is, and then just dash ashore, dash ashore, talk to the squirrel, and go right back out into the lake again. We should be okay. This is doable. This is doable. Crispy's a little nervous because of what happened last time, but this is doable. I already see a red dot on my mini-map. There are turtles on this island. But we can uh, we can get in to talk to the squirrel without encountering any nasty, scary turtles. That's my plan. 
wing around the edge. Waiting for that uh, quest ring to show up on my mini map. Be around here somewhere. Where is it? Is it this island? Is it another island? Maybe that's the other island over there. Let me just check my mini map. Oh, yeah, I think it is the other island here. We just took a detour, that's all. No problem. Where are the chickens? Are y'all following? One, two, three, four, five, six. I see all the chickens. Some of them are too far to read the names. There's Mertensia. Yay, we're all still here. It looks so pretty here. The ref I love the reflections on the water. So nice. I'm following the river on my war steed. Awesome. We are approaching the gray squirrel island but be careful of the red dots there watch out for the snapping turtles they will kill you so don't go in towards the island too soon get around to where the squirrel oh, i see the quest ring now i see it we're heading straight in for the squirrel and from there we will head out into the lake and find a place not too far from the shore Okay, let's talk to the gray squirrel and turn around and go right back out into the lake again. Safety first. That's my motto, safety first. Because bad things happen when you disobey your own motto like I did when we left the uh, Dulon chicken nest and tried to go up the hill without an escort. That was scary. Very scary. Okay, so we are heading for the shore. So if you come down to the shore and follow the shoreline along, we'll see you from a distance. And so I'm over by the orc camp right now. The orc camp, okay. We're heading towards the shore of the lake. There's kind of a little bay. And we'll just head into that little bay and just tread water here until we see you come down the hill. Okay, right about here. <laughs> so if you look at the mini-map, the N in the word Nenharn that's in the lake, if you make a straight line down there, we are near the shoreline. Approximately where the line of the N in Nenharn would intersect. The first line. Okay, okay, well, I'm in the water pointed towards the end and then harm. Are you? Wait a second. Wait a second. Where are you? Where are you? We're very close to the shore. There's a little um, sort of a bay. Which, which end? Okay, so the end and then harm. So if you look at the end and then harm, oh, the diagonal in the in then. So the end. No, there's, there's three ends. There's right, N, right, right. N. The first N in Nenharn, the first, the capital N, there's a solid diagonal that's almost straight north-south. If you follow that diagonal straight south to the shoreline, that's approximately where we are. So if you gallop Careful. along the shore of the lake, we'll see you. There are two islands underneath, not I'm, Nenharn. I'm really yeah, I'll come back to that bay, though. Yeah, we're in the bay. Yeah, yeah. So we're in that little bay that sort of dips out. The southernmost part of the lake is where we are. So if you are if you came in from the from the west to the lake, then if you follow the shoreline along, you'll find us. Billy Ostrich says, go chickens, careful. Yes, we are being careful chickens right now. We are waiting for our escort because I did see there's a red dot on the shore. There's a snapper turtle. There are several red dots on the shore. Yeah. 
We approach the shoreline here. So that camp where the quest givers are, we can see it from here. We are east of the camp where the quest givers are. Enjoying the peaceful music. A lovely evening in Brie ambiance. I think I see the camp. Yep. Are you coming along the shoreline? I swam in. Oh, did you? Might be faster if you swim to shore and ride along the shoreline. But whatever works. We are watching. We're just waiting and watching. Taking so I'm a little in break. Camp. Which direction are you? We are east of that camp. There you are. I see you. No, I see somebody else. There's a person there. A villain. A villain is on the shore. His name is Menordu. He just laid some of the red dots on the mini-map, so yay. We're just aggressively socializing now. Jumping up and down. There you are! Yay! We're, we got the team back together again. Yay! Alrighty then. Okay, now we get to go south. So let's uh, run south. We will go this way. There's a thing in front of me. It's a wolverine. It used to be a wolverine. <laughs> okay. So we'll try and go to the left-ish when we get up here. Go to the left. There's a bunch of red dots there I can do without. We'll just skirt around them. I'm just looking at my mini-map, running into trees and whatnot, trying to avoid the red dots. So many trees! Big trees, tripping me up here. Okay. So we want to go south. Ah, oh, take a little breather, let the other chickens catch up. Here they come. And Buddy's following us. We've got an escort for the last part of our chicken run that's, uh, looks like somebody's curious what we're doing here. Like, what is up with that if you've never seen it before? There's a crabbing spy we can do without. And another one. Yay. The sickle fly off to the side. We can do without him too. Okay. Here we go. More crabbins. Nasty birds. And another nasty bird. Yeah, let's go this way. Right across here. Now we kind of have to stay on the Bree side of the line to the extent we can because it's safer. If we go too far onto the Lone Land side of the border, then we could end up uh, encountering Silent Yellow Fang and your run will be over before you know it. So let's go on the Bree side. Weather Hills, yikes, yikes, Weather Hills. Like, weather Hills are scary hills. I'm not seeing any red dots though, so that's all good. We might have to keep turning left here so we don't fall off the edge. We'll just sort of skirt along here. Watch out for scary critters. So we just sort of follow the ridge along here. Now at one point we're going to run into some orcs and some spiders. We'll have to be careful of those guys. And then once we get past the orcs and the spiders, it might be okay to go back down into the marsh where the where the marsh spiders are. Marsh spiders are less scary than the other spiders that we will find in this area. Okay, I think we have to go this way a bit. 
Hey, we're right on the border here. Hey, watch out. Careful. Got to be careful. Now, look at my map. See where I'm at. You know, we're sort of Chetwood. We're not yet as far as where the. Um, you know, gotta go up this way. Skirt around where Skunkwood's farm is. Here we go. Robin's ahead. Nasty birds. Menordu, we've got a new chicken tender. Yeah, Welcome, Ogden, Menordu. Tell them, uh, tell them thank you. Yes, Ogden Doc, if you can fellowship with Menordu here and tell him thank you for his uh, his help, that would be great. I don't know if you can send him the link to the Discord or not, but uh, all good. If he goes to theloreseekers.com, you can find a link to the Discord on our website. Just so you know. Okay, so we are going to continue on our travels here. There's some nasty critters there. Ooh, half orc outlaw. Nasty guy. You can do without that, right? Yay, he's down. Now entering Chetwood again. Okay, so we are right on the border. There's a... There's a stalker up the hill. It's a spider. There's a spider up the hill. Those are nasty spiders. Many a chicken has ended his chicken run trying to get to the Midgewater Marsh by encountering just such a spider. There's another stalker over this way with a crab and beyond. And they're down. Yay. Let's run across here. Are we on the edge of a cliff here or something? Kind of. Kind of. Are we past? Ah, I can see the water of the marsh down below, so we could make our way down there. Maybe this is the way to make our way down, because we seem to be past Skunkwood's uh, farm. So let's go down here. Yes, yes, we've made it past Skunkwood's farm. This is the way. Do we have all our chickens here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we do. Okay, so we can carefully tumble down the hill. <laughs> Break all our little wee ankles, our spindly little ankles, go crunch. Here we go, and now we're into the Midgewater Marsh where the mobs are less scary, but still deadly to chickens if we get too close. So we can run along the shore here. Watch out for spiders and sickle flies. Pretty awesome we have a new hero. Yes, we do. I'm loving it. You could tell them we're streaming this on Twitch. So we all know. Well, now, what is this ahead of us? It is a brood watcher. Nasty thing. And now it's gone. Thank you. Thank you very much, chicken tenders. You're awesome. And we have a sickle fly. And he's gone. And the other guy's gone. We have to make our way around the corner here. There's a spider in the middle of the pond. A marsh spider in the middle of the pond. I can do without that. <laughs> and now he's gone. Yay. Alright, so we'll just paddle around here. And there's another guy up ahead. Marsh brood watcher. Bye bye.
Okay, so the direction we need to head, I'm looking, there's sort of a low ridge over that way. We're heading for one end of it. We're going to go this way. I'm just sort of going straight line here. There's a marsh spider over here. Oh, there's another thing over there. Some goblins out here too. I can't do without these spiders. Thank you very much. Right this way. And there's another spider in my path. There we go. Sort of thread the needle here between the mobs. Going around the sickle fly. See where we're headed. I see where we're headed. So we've got Defender on one side, Sapper on the other. Making those guys go away is good. Gun Neeker Beaker up ahead. And he's gone. Yay. Okay, now there's a greater sickle fly. And he's gone. Yay. So, run right up the hill. There's Bill Mossfoot. At a Twiggins. And here is Snicken in his little cage. Yay. Finish now. Completed Breland Traveler. Yay. Okay, so our next move is to jump for joy. Yay. And now we're going to head uh, pretty much nearly due south. We're going to get onto the road that goes from Bree to the Forsaken Inn. So we can sneak around behind those ruins over this way. Get past the goblins there. Get onto the road where it's safer. And there might be some goblins. There's a Midgewater Scout. We make him go away. Sneak in behind this little ruin here, where we're hidden from the goblins. There we go. Right this way. Okay, there is a sickle fly not far from here. What do you do without the sickle fly? There he goes. Thank you very much. Alright, so to get to the road, we go due south. We can swim for a little bit. Swimming's fairly safe here. Oh, but there's, there's a bug on the island. Swim around where the bug is. Takes a little longer, but it's okay. You want to swim faster, you can always jump. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, get rid of that sickle fly. Go right through here. Watch out for the goblins on the shore. And there's a sickle fly coming in too. Well, and he's gone. Yay. All right, we got a clear path ahead of us. Thank you very much, escorts. Our wonderful chicken tenders. We love you. Off we go. I think I see a bear ahead of us. Let's uh, let's go around the bear. Go to the left. We'll be in the right direction. Thread our way between the uh, red dots on the minimap, and there is the road. We've got the road in front of us. Yay! Yay! We made it! We made it! Yay! Another scary bit. We got past. Now we can put on the auto run and head for the Forsaken Inn, where there will be a chicken stone. There we go. So it's, it's important to stay on the road from where you cross into the Lone Lands. You get to the Forsaken Inn. And I'll be right back. I'm auto running, but I, I'll be back in like a couple seconds. Okay. Okay.
Make sure nobody gets left behind. Okay, I'm back. Yay. Alright then. We'll just make our way to the Forsaken Inn. There is a chicken stone in front of the Forsaken Inn. We will find that. And then we will head for Weathertop. Another little tricky overland bit we can do. Alright then. And the chicken stone is... Over here. Yay, we did it. We made the chicken stone. All the chickens find the chicken stone in front of the Forsaken Inn. Another little victory on our way to... We're getting so close to the end. We're on the home stretch, people. The Lonelands is like the home stretch. There we go. We shall wait for the chickens to catch up here. Everybody get your things. So, on my quest after, tracker. You okay? I was going to say, after Weathertop, it's the, the last bridge and that's it? Uh, almost. So, we do Weathertop next, and then we visit Radagast, the brown. And then we go to the last bridge. And then some of us will go to the Eve Spires. <laughs> so... And in order to get to the Eve Spires, we're going to have to run all the way across the Troll Shaws, find that Rivendell nest. And then we'll have to run across Evendim to get to the Eve Spires. So, we will get all our chickens the title. That's the plan. But getting, oh, it's going to be scary getting across the, uh, it's going to be scary getting across the, the High Moor with our lone chicken who will be remaining. But we can do it. We can, we where, can manage where it. Where are you I think I lost you. Uh-oh. We're just on the road here. Uh, after the, yeah, after crossing that broken we, bridge, we're the on the road. Broken bridge, yeah. We're just past the broken bridge on the road. We shall wait. Oh, <laughs> I can see you coming. I can see you coming. I saw that red dot disappear from the mini-map. Here you are. Yay. Okay, so. That's the other person. Yep. Hockendox. Where's Hockendox? I thought I saw oh, him I coming him. in behind. He's I behind. Slaying more things. Whee! Okay, here we are. Alright then. So there is a way to get to Weathertop. From this direction without going all the way around from the, the other side. So it's a bit of a cross country thing. Once we crest this hill, we can veer off the road and we can head in this general direction up the slope there. There will be some red dots between us and our destination. Most of them will be little orcish things. White hand guards. I can do without them, those guys. And he's gone. So we go in this direction. There's another white hand guy. And then there's two more up ahead here. And they're gone. Yay. Cross this little saddle here. There we go. Once you get onto the actual slopes, it's not too bad. And here we are. So this can lead us up to the path where we connect with the main path that goes up the hill. Everybody, everybody here? Do we have all our chickens? How many chickens do we have? Do a head count. 
Uh, how many chickens do you see? One, two, three, four, no, one, two, six. three, four, five, six. Yes, six chickens, yay. All right, then. There's one little spot up here where you have to jump up onto a rock. So if someone's on follow, they may have to uh, try to do this little jump thing. Is it this way? Is this the way to the little jump? It might be. Um, or is it the other way? Yeah, I think it's over here. This is the little jump. Is this the little jump? Jump, jump, jump. Yep, this is it. Okay then, everybody jump up. And now, here's the path that leads to the other path. Here we go. Right this way. And this way, and then off to the left. Take the left branch of this path. And we're on our way to Weathertop, yay. in the sky. What time of day is it here? It's dawn! We can see the sunrise from Weathertop! This is so cool. Our timing is really good for weather and daylight and stuff on this run. <clears throat> and because it's dawn, when we do cross the troll shaws later, we will not have to worry about trolls. They'll be hiding away in their caves so they don't turn to stone. So, we will turn a hard right as soon as we go in here. A right hand turn to find our chicken stone. Where is Chicken Stone? It's over here somewhere. Where is it? Uh, chicken Stone. Weathertop Chicken Stone. I know it's here somewhere. Here. Oh, it's right here. Right in the far corner. Where is it? Where is it? Where is everybody? It's like on the outside-ish. Outside-ish? Hang on, don't fall off the edge. Don't fall oh. off weather top. Where is it? Go, go to, the, it? to the left. To the left. Oh, you have to come back in the middle and then come back. Jump over this rock. Jump yeah. over this rock? Yep. And that's over here. All right, okay. There it is. Yay. Thank you very much. I knew it was somewhere on the right-hand side. Now we know. Right out by the edge. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, sometimes you just can't get up on the rock. <laughs> okay, so off we go. We're done here. Let's gather the flock together and head out. Here comes Drumstick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got all our chickens together. Oh, look at the... The view from up here is amazing. It's so cool. And now we need to head down the slope, get back out onto the road, and head for Ostgaruth and Radagast. Oh, look at the view. So cool.
This is a great place for a little screenshot, don't you think? We stand right here, and then I can see all the ruins in the background. Okay, let's all gather around our guys here. Okay, if you guys can come in closer to where I am, that would be awesome. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now zoom in to the chickens. Oh, that's a nice shot. Let me make sure I'm turned around facing the same way our guard is facing. Okay, perfect, perfect. Oh, that's great. That is great. And there we've got our, our guys with names, without names. Awesome. Nice screenshot. Very good. Yep. And jump up and down a few times. Awesome. Okay, well done, people. Got like a nice uh, potential thumbnail there. That's a beautiful image. I can definitely share that on Twitter and Discord and everything. Get my names back on. Get my UI back on. And away we go. Off to Oscarusa and Radagast. We're on the home stretch. Loving this. Loving this that we still have six chickens. Yay. This is great. Now we're going to turn left. Turn left here and go down this part of the uh, ramp. Oh, yep, yep, yep. We're doing so well. here if we can jump off the side sometimes but we will go down a little further so no one's gonna you know break their necks trying to jump down onto have to go back the other way okay here we go right around here all right there is a thorn talon sentry right in front of me there i could do without him and he's gone. Yay. Let's do a little power slide down the hill here. Turn to the right. And let's head for the road. We'll come this way up the little valley. Wait for our chicken tenders to catch up. If they want to take the lead, that's great. And just slay all the things that are in our path between here and the road. That would be awesome. And we will just follow our chicken tenders. We'll just follow the, uh, the bottom of the hill until we're facing south-ish, or we can go up on an angle, that's fine too. I want to get down to the road. Can we go up this way? If we go up this way, will we get there? That is the question. Oh, I see like a, a sun bowl around the sun, that is so cool. How's our map looking? Yeah, we can get to the road from here, but there's those ruins that might be in the way. We kind of want to go more south-ish. That's all good. Here we come. Here we come. Right this way. Thread the needle. Uh-oh, there's a brush hunter dude. We can do without the brush hunter. And there's another guy just on the other side of this hill. The board crawl. And he's gone now. The path is clear to go this way. Go in between the bad guys. Somebody just over the hill. Just on the other side of the hill, there's a red dot. Let's go this way. Are we up too high now? We have to work our way down the hill to get back on the road. Maybe. Oh, there's the road. I see it. It's right this way. There's only one red dot in the way. And he's gone. Thank you, Minordu. Slaying that brush hunter. Now we get a straight shot right for the road. Yay. 
Yay. Now we do have some nasty guys just straddling the road. But that's typical for the Lone Lands. And that guy is now gone. Do we have all our chickens? Are the chickens all here? How many chickens? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we have all our chickens. Yay! Let's run for Oscar Ruth. Woohoo! So once we hit uh, the last bridge, as soon as I get back to Sanson's farm, I will immediately travel as quick as I can to the last bridge. And I will meet our last remaining chicken there to accompany them across the troll shaws. Now, if Augendok and our other um, chicken tender want to go ahead with the last chicken, and head across the troll shaws, I will catch up with you on the road. So that'll be okay. Uh-oh, there's there's a guy. There's a guy on the one side there. I'm just going to go around the other way. Okay, good. He's gone now. No worries. So in the interest of moving things along, you don't need to wait for me to, sh to reappear with, uh, with your party if you want to carry on along that road through the troll shaws. So it's all good. There we go. Getting there. I see it in the distance where we're headed for. People. Okay then. Oh, we're getting so close to the end here. Uh-oh, there's a guy. There's a guy right by the road. Watch out. Right ahead of us, he's on the right. It's an orc. And he's gone. Yay, thank you. Yay. Once we get past this rock, with its mobs around the other side of it, there are some scary people over there. Scary critters. Little red dots there. We're going right past them. And it's gone. Okay then. Just go along here a little ways and then we can turn. When you see the red circle, that's when you can turn in and head for Oscar Ruth and Radagast. I see a chicken way ahead of me there. <laughs> Somebody took a shortcut. <laughs> I see you, and it's Mertensia. Mertensia taking the lead there. Okay. We shall follow you all the way to Radagast. So here's what we've got to do. The whole flock is here, finishing up Lone Lands Traveler. Come on in, come on upstairs. Hey Radagast, how's it going? So the rest of the flock has to show up here. Is everybody here? Have we all talked to Radagast? Greetings, friend of the wild. One, two, three. I count six chickens. I think everybody's got it. All right, then. There we go. And we're out of here. Wait for the flock to appear. One, two, three, four. A couple escorts. And there's all our chickens. Yay! They magically appear at the doorway. And off we go, back to the road. Back to the road, and then we'll head for the last bridge. 
This is truly the home stretch here, folks. The last little bit. So we will follow our chicken tenders out to the road. You can slay what's in the in the in the way. Okay, you want to go this way? That's fine. We could have gone down the other side, but that's not a problem because whatever gets us there. I'm gonna head off sort of to the left-ish. Here we go. Head for the road. Not seeing many red dots. Oh, there's one ahead of us. There is a red dot. And it's gone. Yay. So off we go to the road. Oh, there's another red dot. I'm gonna go this way to get to the road. Where's the road? Where's the road? Where's the road? Right here. Right here. Found it. Here's all our chickens. Are the chickens all here? There they are. They're finding their way to the road. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, all the chickens are on the road. Yay. Let's head for the last bridge. Two hours and 12 minutes left. So we're coming up on six hours on this chicken run. Oh my god, something's chasing! Masher Possum Impersonation, something's chasing us! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is everybody okay? How many chickens do we have? Did we lose a chicken? How many chickens do we have? I'm down the road. Are you? You're further down ahead? Oh, yeah, I'm with so. Minnow Do. <gasps> Minor do. Oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, five... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have all our chickens alive. Oh my goodness, something chased us. <gasps> oh, that would have been heartbreaking. That would have been heartbreaking if we lost a chicken at this point. Wow. Don't know how we aggroed whatever it was, but... There was a crab in that ran that was like flying at you. By the time I turned around, it was flying away. So I'm not sure what set it off. Well, you know what made it fly away is I mashed possum impersonation and it makes all the aggro disappear. And as long as you do that while well, you're... So what it did... Oh, my, my possum impersonation is now on cooldown because I guess I was standing still when I hit it. Watch out for this bird! There's, oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, he's gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, the drama. I could do without some of that drama. But it is what it is. Drama happens. Okay, get my floaty names back on so I can see who's who. Three chickens in front, three chickens behind. All good. And red dots are disappearing, yay. So stuff happens on chicken runs. It just does. You never know, somebody could have been through the area and slaying things and I then the bridge. me too like some random player could have gone through slaying things and then they suddenly respawn on the road right on top of a chicken it, it has been known to happen i've seen it happen or an orc could fall off a mountain and land on a chicken and squash it <laughs> Which happened to poor Georgia. <laughs> that was so. That, <laughs> that was tragic. But uh, odd. That was quite a unique little event. Which I've warned other players about on the Minister of Chicken Run. And they said, no way that happened. I said, yes, you can watch it on the video. <laughs> so, sturdy long tusk is yep, gone. Slid down that hill and landed on my head. The nerve of that orc. It's like, really game? Really? <laughs> so, and the lovely troll shots are in front of us. Okay then. So we, everybody has to hit the chicken stone that's on the south side of the bridge on the opposite side of the river. And then there will be one chicken remaining who will be accompanied to the Rivendell Chicken Stone and then across Evendell. Not the Rivendell Chicken, the Rivendell Strange Chicken Nest just outside the gates of Imladris. That's where we gotta go next. 
And Crispy will be catching up. Will complete it! Yay! We're here! We made it! As soon as we jump down here, we're done. Wee! Okay, completed! Lone Lands Explorer! Okay, now Crispy is heading back to Sanson's farm. Oh my goodness, I'm now a crosser of roads. Look at all these crossers of roads we're going to meet at Sanson's farm. And then I'm going to be traveling back to where the uh, where our final chicken will be on the last leg of their journey. We're going to get this done. And traveling back to Sanson's farm right now. Where I can put on my shiny new title. Yay! Congratulations, everybody! Yeah, thank you. This was fun. Uh, my game froze as I was... Anyway, oh, no. so I'm going to log, log right back in. I'm sure you will still have your, your title and everything. Oh, yeah. It want. says session completed. Make active that title. Yes! We are Crossers of Roads. You are most welcome, everybody who came along. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, Allure One, if that's yeah. how you say the name. Yeah. Um, we can Allure? we can start heading east if you want, and then Crispy can catch us. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to the last bridge. Make sure you tell that other one that we picked up on the other hero that we really appreciated yeah. their help. Yes, we are very grateful. Okay, now I'm gonna hit my stable master here. I'm going to go to where is it? Go right to Osper Ruth and then jump from there. It'll be quick. When I start, we can go. I could have just gone to Osper Ruth. I didn't have to go to there. Okay, so um, I'm going to be there soon. Where's the stable master? I'll catch up with you guys in no time. There's Oscar Ruth. Now, I want to go to Bridges. the last bridge. Crispy Chicken Crosser of Roads. Oh, I'm so proud. I have actually my main, my completionist main had to get the title. So, and Billy Ostrich says, Congrats, chickens! Yay! Oh, so thank you, Billy. Thank you for joining us and cheering us on this adventure that we're doing. Okay, Mertensia is here. Another crosser of roads. So let's uh, use our ponies to uh, catch up to the other players. So our last chicken will be down the road. Let's uh, gallop down the road and find them. Well, I have another game to jump into. Thank you again thank for you. leading this building. Thank and you thank and everyone congratulations, else. everyone. It's been so much fun. And I'm so pleased that everybody so far has survived. So yay. And off we go to find our final chicken. We will not have any chickens um, left behind. If you, if you add me in a fellowship, you can find where we are. Oh, are you guys not already in a fellowship with you and the other guy? I thought, I, you, I, I thought you might I never have. added him. Oh, okay. So you're not in a fellowship. Okay, so... Uh, hang on. Dun, dun, dun. Just galloping down the road. Oh, I think I found you. <laughs> yes, we found you. Minor do an Augen dog and a chicken. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to invite to a fellowship here. Come on, come on, come on. Where's the thing? Invite. Yay, we have the fellowship now. <laughs> awesome, and Mertensia, I'm going to get you into the fellowship too. I never gave uh, Menordu any information if you want to send oh, them a okay. chat. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Hang on. Um... Invited, okay then. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... That leafy feet happen in here. I'm just gonna go on follow here. 
Okay, I'm following Augendoc, so my hands are free, so I can type in fellowship chat now. <laughs> Very good. Kestrel says, oh my god, I'm so late. How did the run go? The run went excellent so far, Kestrel. Five chickens have achieved the illustrious title Crosser of Roads, including Crispy, finally. There we go. Oh dear, we have to saddle up. Our chicken is using foul fleetness. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening here. So, uh, yeah. So here we go. We've got one last chicken who has to get to um, Evendim. So one of our chickens missed one of the objectives on our chicken run. So we just have to go back and get them that final objective and then she too will be crosser of roads. So we've got four escorts for this one little chicken. Some of us are hunters, so we can track stealth more prowlers. Make sure she doesn't get done in on the road. So that's the thing. Okay, so maybe... Here we go. Now make those red dots disappear from Ilor's mini map. And look for things that need to be slain on the way. Okay, so I, ha I haven't been typing in fellowship chat, but there we go. I think I should follow Augendoc again. Whoop. Okay. It would help if I don't try and... It would help if I don't try and uh, type while using the W to run. That doesn't work very well. I get my leafy feet on so I can catch up. <laughs> Here's Augendoc. Okay, now I'm following. Okay. I'll stop for a second so your follow can catch up. Thank you. So thank you to everyone helping the flock finish the free-range chicken quest today. Is that chicken way ahead? Where's everybody else? Oh, right there. That Minordu, Mertensia. Four escorts, one chicken. Okay. Now we got to run up this hill and slay all the things. Yikes, that was close. The chicken better be careful. I think, he, I think he was chasing the guy that just came in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like you do not want somebody dragging a mob on top of you. Hang on. I better... I better equip my bow. I had my musical instrument equipped. <laughs> That's not very good. For a hunter to have a lute equipped instead of a bow, it's just not, not good. It's ungood. Yeah, bye-bye, bear. <laughs> Like, yeah, what am I going to do? Beat something to death with my loot? Not happening. Where's our chicken? Right here. Our chicken's good. 
still alive. And everything's going down. It's like we're mowing the lawn up here. The tricky part's going to be the high moor. We'll have to use our tracking skills to get um, stay on top of where those stealth moor prowlers are. Now there's a bunch of them. They're sort of up the hill off to the right. I'd almost want to run up there and slay some just so they don't clog up your um, tracker. When you're trying to track things that are closer in, if I can get rid of some of the other ones, that would be good. We're doing fine here so far. Run back and forth across the road. That'd be a thing. Okay, so, if we, if we stay either side of the road, we should be able to pick up anything that comes down the path. Okay, now that we're here, I'm going to just track and see what I can find. Tracking nature. I'm not seeing any more prowler close. More prowler. Extremely distant. But it's behind us. Okay, so more prowlers back behind us somewhere. But there may be one up ahead. I better catch up. I better catch up. Quickly. Watch out, chicken. Be careful. Don't run ahead. Don't run ahead. Don't run ahead. Just wait. Wait, wait. Okay, so let me dismount and track again. Yeah, there was a person in front of us. Then. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, I see now. Okay. So, more Prowler, distant, but off to the side. I'm going to go kill it anyway, so it doesn't clog up the tracker. Where is it? Where is it? I know you're up here somewhere, more Prowler. And he's down. Okay. Better uh, saddle up here. Get back on the path. Now watch out for these nasty prowlers. I'm going to go up ahead and do another uh, tracking thing. Right about here. Not unusual for some to be hidden here. Uh, more prowler. There's two of them. One of them's like, oh, that way. I think he's too far away to worry about. There he is, back there. I'm going to go slay him. Okay, buddy. You're toast. Bye-bye. You might want to track as soon as you get out of the woods here. Because there's always one on the left, so be careful here. This is a good place to track. I shall track again. See what I can find. More Prowler. There's three, four more Prowlers are on my tracker. Yikes. Let's hope some of them are behind us. Oh, there's one over here. There's one over here. You got it. You got it. Now, if you can uh, track again. Sometimes there's one hidden over here. I'm not seeing it, though. Sometimes they're right by the road. I'm going to track again in a minute as soon as my cooldown is over. Oh, hang on. There's something nearby. Don't come close to me, chicken. Just wait. There's a more prowler very close to me here. Let me track and figure out where it is. Very close. Tracking it. Tracking it. Where is it? I think that's the one right there. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. And he's down. Yay. Okay. That's a relief. All right. He's close-ish to the road. Let's be careful now. I'm going to run into the woods here a little ways, and then as soon as my cooldown's over, I'm going to track again. Just to see if there's anyone behind. Okay. 
There's nothing left to track except a badger. Okay, we're good. We're good to go, chicken. Okay, let's get to the nest. We have to get to the nest. So we're going to run down the road here. And then we're going to turn right instead of left. Come right up here to the strange chicken nest. And now I will go and I will meet you in Oat Barton. Okay? Okay. All right. So I'm going to travel to Mickle Delving, where there is a swift travel to Oat Barton. Now, if you're standing close to me, maybe you can travel with me? Maybe? Actually, if you stand close to me, you might be able to travel with me. I'm not sure. You can try it. But you have to strap. Okay, Ogendok, I think, is doing his own thing there. That's fine. Let's head for Mickle Delving. And then once I get to Mickle Delving, I can do the... I can do the thing. Okay. Okay, so Mickle Delving, and then take the stable to... Okay, here we are. Let's go this way. Take stable to Oat Barton. Minordu says, see ya. So I said, thank you. So we can... Uh... Let me run up here and grab the stable. So it was very nice to have this random person join us on our chicken run. Very good. I said we all appreciate your help to Minordu who helped us so much so that was good it was just out of the blue selfless service we appreciate it very much wait a second why am I here I, I hit the wrong dude I went the wrong way Hello, I friends. took a wrong Hello, turn much. oh good grief <laughs> okay I am on my way to Oat Barton swift travel I thought I clicked on that but apparently I clicked on Dulon swift travel instead so I just took the scenic route but I'm, I'll be there shortly okay so Kestrel says very nice got tied up helping mom most of the day well you know that's a good thing helping mom is a good thing I'm glad you helped your mom I'm glad your mom got help so that is a worthy way to spend an afternoon all right, look at this. We got chickens. Now we have to go up the road. We are here. All right, ready to rock and roll. Let's head on up, up the road to the Eve Spire. So we just run up the road until we get to King's Crossing, and then we can swim the rest of the way to the Eve Spires. So our chicken will not be alone. So, Aylor, how much time is left on your clock right now? Uh, an hour and 50 minutes. you got tons of time. Yep. Tons of time. So, we'll go up here, slay the spiders in your path, slay the wolves. The hinds aren't a problem, but, you know, we can always use the hides for our crafters, right? Whenever I do the chicken tender, I always just kill everything, just in case. Yeah, and you know, you get more money that way for slaying all the things. Good to slay all the things. It also makes you feel good when you one-shot things. You're like, nice. <laughs> yeah, when you're, it's nice to be way over level here.
Okay, now we have three chickens in the flock. Because why not? Okay, here we come, down the road. Slay all the things, all the way there. <laughs> oh, these guys, these annoying little guys. And they're gone. That's so satisfying when you wipe out the whole pack of them in one shot. That feels so good. So, keep in mind, our our dear chicken that uh, we can't tell what things here are, are red dots on your minimap we don't have any red dots on our minimaps so if we miss something feel free to call it out say on your left on your right wherever it may be just okay. Point just... us in the right direction, you know, 6 o'clock, 2 o'clock, whatever. We will slay the thing. Are we just following the road? Yep, we'll follow the road okay. till we get to King's Crossing and then we swim. There we go, that's at the end of the beach. Like I have a cosmetic loot equipped, which looks kind of funny when I'm shooting things. <clears throat> it's a little odd. We should fix that. Where's my outfit? Uh, that's weird. No, I don't have that. Okay, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Why does that look like it does? I don't know. I don't seem to have. Oh, there's a bow. Crossbow, that'll do. 
It looks less silly than a loot. Be a sand lurker. And he's gone. And there's another one. And another one. Oh, he's gone. Alright then. Instead of going over the bridge, we're going to go to the left of the bridge and go into the water there. Because if you go down that path, apparently there can be stealth like tomb robbers and stuff. So, right this way, people. Here we are. This is the place to start swimming. And thank goodness this time we're not heading for a Numinous. This is an easy peasy run. And you know, you don't even, you could do this without any escorts at all the rest of the way. But since we're here, I'm going to take you the rest of the way anyway, because why not? It's a party. Well, thank you. That's okay. We appreciate. We appreciate all our chickens participating in our chicken run, so yay. And we want to make sure you get there in one piece. Absolutely. There's nothing more frustrating than when a, when a chicken disappears on a chicken run and I don't know what happened to them. It drives me crazy. I send the mail in the game to ask them what happened. <laughs> so I know. And uh, sometimes it's a connection problem where they just disappear. Occasionally we lose a chicken to defeat on the road. We try for that. To, we really try to not let that happen. But it does from time to time. But sometimes it happens when nobody's in a place if they've fallen behind, no one's watching or something, or the pack gets separated. Like that time that we were going through Yondershire in a harvest fly. There was a whole pack of us trying to regroup because we got separated on the road. And uh, um, so I'm looking at my screen and harvest fly enters stage left or whatever and comes right at me and it's like everybody mash your possum impersonation we just scattered like roaches when you turn on the light and it was it was pretty funny to see but uh, everybody survived that little adventure it was all good but we didn't lose anybody but sometimes if something like that happens it's like you want to do a head count afterwards and see how many chickens you have left so I'm just so, I was so amazed and relieved that after the adventure at the Dulon Nest, that uh, we still had all our chickens. It's like, wow, that was so lucky. That was so lucky. I was so relieved. I would have felt so bad if Bethlo didn't make it. So here we go. So there's somebody questing. Somebody is uh, streaming Lord of the Rings on Twitch, one of the people I follow. When we finish our chicken run, I think I will try and raid. I've never really done a raid before where we take our Twitch viewers and drop into somebody else's Twitch stream before mine ends. That would be cool. Let's just run to the other side of the island here before we start swimming again. It's all cool. Where is everybody? I see you back there. I think. Here you are. So I'm just... turning on a quest on the island. Oh, okay, cool. We're just racing along the shore here. So get on your horse and gallop to the north end. It north, north, sort of a pointy bit, sort of northwest. Let me look at the map. 
Yeah, if you follow the shore north and then you see, what do we see here? Here it is. I think this is the spot. No, no, no. Go further. Go further. Back behind the buildings and just go further. When you can see, okay, so there's islands. The island with all the salamanders, you keep that on your left. And then you look for the island that's due north. And then you can see the area where the Eve Spires is. Not far from there. That's where we start swimming. There we go. Everybody's here. We got the gang all together again. Swim, swim, swim. So I have aimed my tune in the general direction we need to go. And we can see everybody swimming. Oh, it's so pretty here. It was nighttime last time we were here. Now it's daytime. Nighttime, daytime. Now it's noon. Anybody get that reference? The bird video? I should share that on Discord again because it still makes me laugh when I see it. The just for fun section of the Kin Discord. So we are six hours and 25 minutes into this video, into the stream. That's a long stream. It's going to be a long YouTube video, my goodness. So I will pack it in as soon as Aelord disappears from view. We will finish the Twitch stream there. We'll thank everybody for sticking it out. When I post this video on YouTube, I will... It'll take a little while to do it because I'm going to go through it and put timestamps on it so that the whole route information is in the description with timestamps so people can go and observe a section of it that they might be unsure about so it can be used as a, a reference, you know, it's like a, a video version of a wiki for how to do this particular quest. That's my plan anyway. But uh, yeah. We will be ending the ending the stream as soon as we get our chicken across the finish line. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll go back to Sanson's farm so I can see our our new crosser of roads with her title equipped. Because we want we want that for all our chickens to get our crosser of roads titles. We have one one real chicken and two pet chickens remaining. Hey, where'd you go? Why'd you stop swimming? Hortensia, are you okay? No, she's still coming. We're good. We're good. I hit the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> we can catch up by hitting the uh, mash the space bar to jump and it helps you swim faster so I can try and catch up to the, uh, the others here. I can see I'm not the only one jumping out of the water. I'm catching up, I'm catching up, I'm catching up. We're chicken. Now I can see you again. Yay! Almost there. We'll have to play the song of my people when I get back to Anson's farm. You know what I forgot to do today? On this run through the troll shaws, I'm so hyper focused on slaying all the things. I could have been mashing my um my chicken emotes. Like you mash the putter and you have chickens rolling down the road. It's kind of fun. I'll have to do that when I get to when we get out of the water. Demonstrate the fun chicken emotes that you can get at Hop Nanigans. Here I am, passing by the chicken here. Here we are. We're on our way. We'll be there soon-ish. Where are we going? Here, this way. This is the way. And Agandok's way ahead of us here. 
He's racing ahead. He's jumping out of the water. I can see him there in the distance. <laughs> like a whale breaching from this distance. <laughs> well, a small whale, a very small whale. <laughs> More like a porpoise leaping out of the water. Here we go. I prefer to think of it as like a rock skipping. Yes, that works too. That definitely works too. Okay. There's often one mob off to the left, but not usually a problem. And I'm pretty sure it's dead now. <laughs> I saw you run over there. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Taylor's going to talk the long bow. That's the last thing left on your deed tracker, isn't it? Let's hope so. Yep. Yay. Yay! New deed, Wilds of Evendim. I just discovered a new place as crispy that I've never been to before, so yay me. Here we are. Okay, here's our chicken. And our chicken goes off there. Disappears from view very soon. I'll see you back at Sanson's farm. Yes, thank you so much. You are most welcome. And Mertensia is playing us out there. Off we go. I'm going to saddle up now. Here's Ogendok. Everybody showing up at the farm. Let me gallop around here. Jump over the fence. Is the straight line distance. Here we come. Coming down the driveway at Sanson's farm. To see our chicken. The last of our chickens to get crosser of roads. Yay. It's been a busy day for chickens on Gladden server. There we go. Aylor, tavern goer. I just logged in. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay, so I need to get my music happening. And I need to equip my loot. And then I need to find my chicken playlist. So I can play the song of my people. <laughs> Crosser of Roads, look at that! Look at that! We have a Crosser of Roads here. So where's my... Why is my music not playing? Okay, here we go. Playing the song of my people now. That's the... That's how we like to end a chicken run. Play the song of my people. So, thank you everybody. Thank you for joining us on today's adventure. Been great. I'm so glad I got Crosser of Roads too. And Mertensia got Crosser of Roads. And everybody else that was with us got Crosser of Roads. Six chickens earned Crosser of Roads today. How awesome is that? I'm so pleased that I was able to help them do that. So, we won't be doing this again next week. <laughs> next week we'll be doing, uh, there's going to be a Slayer Saturday. I should look it up and see where it's going to be. Hang on a second. Okay, so next week... <gasps> next week, Slayer Saturday is coming to Gladden on the 27th. So if you want to participate in Slayer Saturday on Gladden, join us at the docks in Selendim in Arid Lewin, with a tune that's just, you know, any old tune, any low level tune will do. And we will slay our way across Arid Lewin, get a bunch of Latro points. It'll be fun. And uh, yeah. And then the week after that, also in Gladden, we will slay our way through the Shire with a bunch of people who do this on various servers every every so often, usually on a Saturday. It's two Saturdays in a row on one server and then a break of one week and then two Saturdays in a row on another server. So um, after Gladden, Gladden will be January 27th, Narad Lewin, February 3rd in the Shire, and then February 17th, it'll be Landrable. 
and uh, on the 24th as well on Land Ripple. So that's the Slayer Saturdays that are coming up. And uh, meanwhile, if you watch Hilda Galadriel's Twitter, uh, or maybe the Latra forums or whatever, uh, there will be a Hilda Go Seek that I'll be planning soon. So watch for that. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. It's been a blast. And we will say uh, fare thee well. Happy questing, everybody. And uh, we'll see you another time. So thanks to everyone for watching the uh, Twitch stream and or the YouTube video. And uh, we'll see you another day. There we go.